Right, never mind that then. Let's come out of this and get it started proper then. So it's Factorio. We've got a big old multiplayer going at this this weekend. But I can't wait till then. I need some Factorio loving right now. Um, so I was checking out these other game scenarios. Really, I only ever play Factorio on free play. Although I have done all the Transport Belt Madness, which I thought was good fun as puzzles go. But just by chance, I was looking at this list going, what even is there here? Tight? Spot? Some kind of economical game? I gave it a short go and I didn't think it was all that. I don't even know what Supply Challenge is. PvP? I've never played Factorio PvP, although I have played with Nitro, which is pretty much the same thing. Team Production? Sandbox? Rock Rush? Nah. But something caught my eye with this wave defense, because I actually really like fighting against the biters in Factorio. We did almost none of it when I did the There Is No Spoon run, because I preemptively went out and killed them all before pollution could even be a factor. So I wanted to give this a good shake. I've given it a wee test ride for about half an hour to see what, uh, what moving parts there are to it. Basically, you've just got to launch a rocket and you win, but every night the biters attack. I don't think I'm even going to bother with the rocket stuff, I just want to set up defenses and see how hard those biters come at you. So, straight away, well I know I want an infinite map, none of this limited nonsense, and I would like a seed from chat, pretty please. It's gotta be a number, but I'll take pretty much anything. If you like tower defense against waves of aliens, maybe Riftbreaker might be something for you. I watched um, Fish Let's Play some Riftbreaker, I even think I put it up for a long play vote, and it didn't win. Uh, <laughs> Varen's going with an old classic. Alright, let's get Leet on this. Uh, is it going to accept that and give us a map? There we go. This is apparently Leet. So, you start off with a perimeter that's already set up. There's one row of wall punctuated with gates, and all these yellow dots are gun turrets that have 50 magazines of regular ammo, so they deal pretty pathetic damage. And every night you get waves of enemies coming at you. I think they start out small and then they get bigger. How it ramps up, I have no idea. What the adequate defenses for them are, I also have no idea. What's important to me is getting oil. There's oil there and it's infested. There appears to be no other... Ooh, well, there's something undefended down there. I might be interested in that. So, given that they just keep on coming regardless of pollution, there is no pollution in this mode for what it's worth. It wouldn't hurt to think about what I want to do beforehand. Oh, there's um, there's easy, normal, and hard. From what I can tell, you get a bigger perimeter on easy, which doesn't sound easier. But I guess more perimeter, more gun turrets that uh, you can defend with. Also, much fewer enemy things here. And on hard mode, smaller perimeter. Should make it easier to get around here. Maybe more bases? I don't know. I'm just going with normal because I haven't really given this a proper shake before. Although, we'll have plenty of Death World 600% this weekend. So what am I thinking here? I know we, we start off with all technologies unlocked, and as you eliminate worms and biter bases, you get points to spend on the infinite upgrades that you'd normally need glorious space white science for. So, 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 what I think I want to do is beeline mass production of steel and pipes and engines and cogs so basically just tear out this iron patch and create that and then gun it for this i uh, this oil or this oil and then set up a flame defense and a flame defense should be able to hold for a very long time because fire can burn down the biters right up until they become uh, behemoth biters and spitters, at which point you'll want to supplement more. I think that's what I want to go for, because the initial yellow ammo you get with won't last, and I hate manually feeding um, gun turrets. In fact, I just don't like gun turrets at all. Period. Yeah, we're kind of water protected here. Don't know how this is going to grow. It's going to be very time pressured, though. When playing normally, if you just don't pollute much, you don't feel much pressure on the biters. But here, they will relentlessly attack every night. So, I guess we just get on with it then. 
The game is kind enough to start you out with a big old fat load of initial materials, and there's the rocket silo. If that thing goes down, uh, we lose straight up. Uh, I just realized now that I'm going to need coal or energy to fuel this thing, so actually coal is going to be my first concern. I hadn't even thought of that. Let's get ourselves some initial resources out of you. If there are coal rocks, we'll certainly want those. Although heavens knows if there are... Ooh, plenty of rocks over there, which I may or may not want. Grab the woodland as well. Go, my bots. It's quite liberating to start off with all of that. I think I'm going to want to make a load of stone furnaces. I can see myself needing them. But there's no need for trees in terms of... Um, in terms of pollution absorption, so as far as I can tell, there's no downside to just ravaging them. Right, how are we going to do this then? Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, maybe I should think about this. It's okay, the pause key is there to help you whenever. How does having an army of bots feel after your last run? Well, I really, really do not like the burner phase of Factorio. But if you don't have it, you don't feel like you've worked up for everything. But doing the burner phase again and again just feels so horrendous. Right, what am I trying to do here? I think a bit of energy will go a long way. Um, I was planning on just burner mining the iron patch, but I suppose it's not unreasonable to set up a very simple uh, boiler system here. We've got water. Oh, actually, the boiler system would go here since there's water there and drag power down to here. Um, because, as we know, the better miners are just better. So, why don't we do exactly that? Um, just da-da-da-da-da. Oh, yeah, it would help if you did it correctly. This can't manage a very simple um, boiler setup, then God knows what will. And then we're going to, going to, going to, going to do this. Going to need to fill them with these, and then da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum, and one out here, and then a little bit of pipe work. So it's very nice that it starts you off with uh, all of this from the get go, but it's only enough to start off the most simple of bases. I'm actually going to use regular inserters for these because it's cheaper on the power. I don't actually like burner inserters whatsoever. They're cool, but in terms of production, they cost a whole lot more power just to use. And I'm going to want a whole lot more of these uh, power poles, which somewhat blows. Oh, right, yeah, I'm going to need to power these bad boys as well, the inserters. Didn't really want to deal with copper at all early game, but needs must. Right, so they're going to need a bit of power just to get going initially. I'm going to just slam a bit of wood in there, and then that should get the miners going just enough to bring some um, some coal down. And if it's not, I can supplement them a little bit. And here we go with some water. We only get a single offshore pump, so uh, I better keep that in mind when it comes to... Working on my oil if I ever get that far. <clears throat> so that's going to get a very minimal amount of power going. In comes the first little bit of coal, and as long as you can be fed that coal, then we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Wonderful. Right, any coal that is left over after all of that, I'm just going to want to slam that into a generous coal buffer. Where are my chests? Why do I have no chests? Let's change that. It's not going to be huge with these crappy little ones here, but that'll have to do. And I will need to... Oh, I've got a bit of copper. Right. Ooh, what am I doing then? I need a whole lot more of these power poles. I'm going to keep things ultra basic with producing these goods from the get-go. So that really just means four of you is probably sufficient. Putting you into here. Uh, I don't have the coal for it, but imagine a day someday when I do. And then I'll just have these guys thrown into these chests. Works every time, probably. 
Right, that means I already really want a whole lot of coal. And these guys are not uh, creating my buffer just yet, but they will. No time for that though, I want the coal right now. Gib, 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 gib. And this is just going to blast this ahead. However you cut it though, I'm going to need a butt ton of coal, but... Mm, well, I can always run back there and grab it as need be. We can see that there are attacks already. It's nice that it gives you overall view of this area even without the radars. Notably, I have no radars. Right, I need to think about this one. I want to have a very large production of iron and um, and steel. I have a few ways to do it. I could just do it very locally, very slapstick on here, which is maybe not the worst idea I've ever had. Mm. Really, I just want to get enough going such that I can set up a big defense using fire, because I know defense is the most pressing issue here. If I spend time building up a proper smelter array, that's time not spent building all that up. So I think what I might do... Well, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Hmm. Hmm. What do I have in terms of resources anyway? I got 50 burner miners. I got a lot of smelters going on here. I think I'm going to set up a dedicated steel bit because I know I need a ton of steel. So I wish I'd brought power over here before I bothered with any of this. Right, power me up. I really love those crappy, um, crappy wooden poles. Right, so just straight away, da 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 da. This is going to be dedicated steel smelting. Uh, okay, how did I manage to make this so bad? I don't know. Ten of them, I reckon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, there's no planning, there's no blueprints, there's just as we go along, figuring out how to do this. Which is fine, because blueprints are handy, but for a new experience in Factoria, it really sucks the soul out. Right, this is going to have to do you for a wee while, just get some of that going for now. We're already on day two, how time flies. If I pass by goodies, I want my bots to go and grab them. But I do not want to be building with bots. These are some slow bots. Hey, I wonder if they could pick up the... Hmm, some concrete. May come in useful someday. I need that coal. I need that coal pretty badly. There's going to be a fair bit of manual coaling going on. To the point where I think I might actually benefit from doing even more coal production. A bit of redundancy there. How's my copper doing? Yoink. Don't know what I'm going to need that copper for, but I'm sure someday I will. Come back to feeding the Cractorio addiction indeed. Right, now we need this brought into smelt for steel. I'm going to use all of my good smelters on that because I. Well, okay, well I must have miscounted. <clears throat> Come with me, come with me. So all of this is going to go in for making steel. And then that needs a place to go, although steel smells really slowly, so I m might not need to output it anywhere, I just need to grab it every now and then. However, that's not enough. I definitely need a lot of iron, so that's the best way to do that. Maybe even just set up a vast load of... Um... Right, I think I might, given my numbers on this, just set up a vast load of burner miners into stone ovens, and then I can do a lot of manual crafting. Not manual crafting, but manually distributing among my crafting machines to make the intermediates that I need 
to set up a large flamethrower defense. Because I hate feeding, uh, hate feeding these things. Although I just wonder how many flamethrowers I'm going to need to defend such a large area. I'm also going to move all of this coal down to here. It's going to make it just a lot easier to grab for my needs. Instead of having it, uh... Instead of having it just pile up over there. I don't have a lot of belts to begin with, but... Too bad. At least if it's over here, it's going to be far, far easier to just throw away into these boxes. And there you go, my sunshines. Uh, why do you not get power? Because you're not connected up. There you go. Alas, poor trees, says Kornak. Wait, that cannot be Kornak's first time here. I am sure... Very sure that you've been here many a time before. So there we go. They're going to all get all the power we need and all the excess will be boxed up here, which I'll be using for burner mining. I also want to make sure that these guys are working A-OK, -okay, so I'm just going to make sure they have all of the coal they could ever need. And that copper is mine. And then we're going to make sure that the steel flows heavily. I am betting heavily on Zabulba. Except in this case it's not Zabulba, it is steel. Right. That's actually pretty slow production of steel, but it's going to have to do for now. Right, uh, well, let's get going with a vast amount of burner mining. It's not too bad since, uh, all things considered, there's no pollution to care about. So this might not be the worst thing ever concocted. So, 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 so. Get going. Oh boy, that burnt my that burnt my coal pretty much immediately. Perhaps I was a bit too a bit too gung ho with this. Now they're not actually working for me. All right, well I know I can take back half of that coal and then redistribute it like so, just to get this stuff going initially. You know what this is telling me? That I need a lot more coal. That's right. Did you know Factorio is a game about automation? Yeah, I, I want more coal production if I'm going to really be burner mining this out. Is it reasonable to set up more copper production? I don't really know. I don't really know. It's good. I'm going to double it. Because it's not the world's best copper production ever seen here. We have the proper miners, we might as well be using them. I think I even have a splitter. Hey, I do. Awesome. Get in there. Although, we don't really have the time to be caring about proper balancing. I just want to make sure that I've got a lot of coal coming in here. I can't believe I'm running low on battery already, but hey, we start with an exoskeleton, which is kind of cool. And the smallest, crappiest kind of battery. Yeah, the waves come every night, so I don't really have the time to be checking out how they're doing, though, sadly. Yeah, man, all that, all that stuff just goes away immediately. Okay. Not too shabby. From the quick run I did, you tend to see medium... Well, you tend to start getting overwhelmed around day 7, so... Uh, right, what am I going to do now? I am going to set up a manufacturing block. Something like so... Oh, it's a little far away from all of my goods. I want this to be quick and easy to do, so I want to be able to go ba 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 ba. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Everything is good when it's 2 to a power. like 
so. Now if I just start manufacturing a huge amount of goods that I know I need for flamethrower turrets, this will be a decent start, I imagine. These things need power, but they also eat power while they're idling. Little warm up for the big MP, yeah, we can call it that. Uh, no, don't shoot them. Do not shoot them. Um, Z is the button I'm looking for. Someday I'm going to look into that quality of life thing that allows you to easily divide up um, goods when giving them out like that. Right. Uh, right, 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 right. I need to power up my automated machine things and start feeding them iron plates or a vast quantity of resources. Something I will need a lot of is pipes. Where's pipes? Where's pipes? Where's pipes? What is pipes? There's pipes. Not scared of pipes, so just eat my iron. Give me pipes. Oh, they need power. Yeah, that's a reasonable request, my fellow machines. This is why I got at least a little bit of copper. To get all these power poles going. How many do I have? Lots. I always like lots more. So they're going to slowly make me all of that. What else do we need? We need iron gears. Bazillions of them. Of course, this is some iron hungry creations. The steel is going to be useful for engines and the flamethrower turrets themselves. Jeez, come on. Come on, game. I need a lot more iron plates than that. Alright, come on, get started. Good enough. What about the bigger, better, cleaner machina? Oh, right, we've got um, we've got the upgrades already for the uh, the claw things. That's cool. That's very cool, even. Oh, great, we've gotten to the point where we have almost enough coal to keep this thing saturated. Right, what else do I need? I should take a quick look at uh, flamethrower turrets to consider what I need for them. Uh, da -da 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 flamethrower turrets. Yeah, loads of steel, loads of gear wheels, engines and pipes. So, engines, they take a fair while to make, don't they? Ten second crafting time. It's all the more reason I'm going to want a fat lot of them here, but... Uh, that might be overkill. Um, there we go, you got 50 steel plates each there. I want 50 gear wheels and 100 pipes in those. These guys, I don't think I'll use you just yet, because I know they're, s they're demanding anyway. Right, that's a fat lot of you, so here you go. And now my gear wheels. I want a half stack of gear wheels in each of these. And now there they go. That's going to make me um, a lot of engines. I'm <laughs> not keeping count. And once I have those going, I should be able to properly... Oh, tell you what, I'm also going to want some pipe to ground here to get my stuff around. So, pipe to ground. Uh, gee, I don't know. Take 100 pipes each. That leaves me with not many pipes. Does flamethrower turret need pipe? It needs a lot of pipe. Ah, oh, jeez. Everything needs yet more... Yet more iron, right. And that iron needs more coal. It's already day three, and there's already damage being done. Are those still... S no, they brought in the medium buggers now. Okay, well... Goody, goody, I guess. Here, eat this coal. All of you take as much coal as you need so you can just run hands off for me and then give me all of your iron, please. It's tempting to run more burners. So I'm going to run more burners. As many as I can. Heavens knows we have the ovens for them. If you're wondering why they call them ovens, it's because a very fun and funny German streamer calls them that. Right. More pipes, probably. More pipes to ground, probably. Uh, more gear wheels, definitely. How are those engines coming along? Very slowly. Let's start thinking about flamethrower turrets. What do they need? What do they need? How do I how do I decide how to make these? Oh, I'm going to need a lot of you for... Oh, maybe that's too many. Um, 
Right, screw that. We'll just have this thing make us uh, flamethrower turrets as fast as it can. Too slow. You work as well. I'm a huge fan of flamethrowers in this game. That's a lot of pipe to ground. More than I could conceivably ever need, so let's just undo all of that. More coal, more everything. Day four already. I need to pick up the pace here. Imagine hard. Where would you get the time to start producing turrets? You'd probably play on multiplayer. I get the, I get the feeling that this was designed to be played in multiplayer. Hard to say for sure. Or maybe you just set up a, a more modest defense, like actually belting um, yellow uh, ammo for those things. Right, you're working away just fine. Why are you only producing two? Ah, because you need a, a lot more, a lot more steel. That's right. These are some steel-hungry buggers. It's all very steel-hungry. That's why I beeline for steel, but it's already drinking it up like mad. And jeez, maybe I'm underproducing steel. Oh well. Nowhere to go but forward. I could always make a... Where, where are my ovens? Here they are. I could always jump uh, jump up my steel production like so. By taking all of my iron and filling you up with them. Hopefully this doesn't come and bite me in the bottom. I also have to go and clear out and get the oil which may itself provide some challenges. Right, these are all good, so let's just turn them off for now. Although I can't help but feel I'm going to need even more cog wheels. Yeah, these things drink the engine, uh, the, the gear wheels as well, so I could find myself actually causing myself more harm than I thought. Well, no sense worrying about it, although I will need yet more coal. Thanks to you, I got back into Factorio. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Because they're working on their expansion. And at the time, I told myself I'm not going to play any Factorio until the expansion is out. But I just... I, I can't even remember what made me come crawling back to Factorio, but something did. Maybe the fact that it's an amazing game, best in genre. Not that I've played Satisfactory or Dyson Sphere Project or any of those. But I have a power of imagination that tells me I'm right. Right, more gear wheels, and then I think I'm going to get started on that oil. We need to secure the oil. We need to get the oil out here. And you know what I've completely forgotten? Bricks. I should be making bricks. I have not been making bricks. I'm out of burners. I... I, 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 I could make myself four electric mining drills and set them up to make myself a whole load of bricks. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, right, that's what I'll do. One, two. Straight into the oven. And the oven will put it right into a box for me. Box, oven. Sadly, I still. Oh no, no, we got uh, we got our starting things for that. Where's all my coal? As usual, I ditched my coal. There you go. Get started. Give me the coal. Dyson Sphere Project is great. Surely enjoy it once it comes out of early access. One can only hope. You know, thinking about it, why don't I make sure these things will work damn near forever? by doing this. The lazy man's automation. I'll give you five of these. I should keep them going for a long, long time. I'm getting real damaged now. I need that oil, I need that oil, I need that oil. There is simply no time though. Well, there's never any time. Right. 
get a bit more iron, start making more of those uh, cogs, because I know I need more cogs. Because I always need more cogs. You guys gotta keep going, keep on going. Need more steel, of course they need more steel. Meow. Probably need more engines as well, and my engines probably need more steel too. Actually the engines are coming along fairly well, they're not that steel hungry. Right, let's take a moment to think. I got a couple of options for the oil. I can come out here, shoot these things dead using Omega-3 health potions and my shotgun. Or, I could go out to this oil, which does not appear to be defended by biters. Bit of a longer journey, but probably better to take the safe one. Hey, can I make a car? That would speed things up. A car would need eight engines. Otherwise, I could. Might be worth it for the speed alone, so come on, let's go car. Vroom vroom, and in case I get attacked, here's half of my ammo. Whee! I should have dragged power out here. Alright, this is minimal, but this is okay. Um, I want pump jet here, and here, and here. And I want it to be pumping into a storage tank. Actually, does that really matter? It's going to be storage tanked in the base. Probably better there than out here, because here it just uh, would go to waste. Kind of a convenient place for walling. Do I have walls? I have 50 walls, that's all? Oh, okay. Right, well... It's a little bit grim, but... Better not to have these, I don't want to start a forest fire. Actually, it wouldn't really matter in this mode now, would it? I didn't bring a flamethrower, I should have brought a flamethrower. I don't have enough walls! Okay, well I am a firm proponent of the oven wall, if nothing else. Alright, now these... this stuff needs to come out with me. I'll be coming back with more stuff, I guess. Uh, I want this thing brought up a touch, because it's a little too close to fighter bases there. Right. I love the game's soundtrack, it's so smoothing, really, because although I so I say that um, this game is almost faultless, I actually don't think that the soundtrack is very good. Right, I will sort out the fiery defense real soon. For now, I need to make sure that that place does not get taken. And that means, where did my car, oh, I left my cover behind. I could make another car. It's an idea, but I'll spend some time sorting this out and then I'll bring power down there. And some defenses, of course. It should only need one or two fiery things, and maybe some gun turreting. Right, gimme, 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 gimme! I think it's all about the steel right now. These are some incredibly steel-hungry devices. So, let's give this another blasting session of extra steel. Wonder bar. Take all the steel you need, just keep giving me those turrets, those engines, that everything. And let's bring power to... Uh, uh, I'm gonna make some yellow ammo just as backup back at the base, or uh, back at the oil base at least. Yeah, the music does not really stand on its own two feet, and you could argue that it doesn't have to, but I'm not the kind to make such arguments. We're going to build in some redundancy here, because if there's going to be fighting, especially fighting that involves fire, it's very possible that this is just going to uh, gang a wah, as we say. I should definitely use some large... Do I even have large? Oh, I do, I do. I've got a big electric pole. Right, we'll sort that out on the way back then. 
No modules. Could really do with some modules. Right, now, how are we going to deal with you? I didn't bring any more stone. No, of course not. Uh, for stone walls, that is. But I have the power of... Where's my flamethrower turret? Here it is. And placed correctly, it can defend this entire area, sort of. Good enough for me. And if it's good enough for... Where are my pipes? Where are my pipes? Where are my pipes? Why do I have no pipes? Crumbs, I need pipes. Um, actually, why do I have no pipes? Screw all that. We need these pipes. And then we need more ammo. If they do start getting actually inside the base, it's going to be your guys' job to defend things. Okay. There we go. Now that should hopefully take care of all of this. Alright, Groovy. Tell you what, I want a, a few... I want a few grenades for myself. I would also quite like... Oh god, a lot of things are getting damaged back at base. I need to seriously improve the situation back home. But I'm going to need some fish probably to help out with some things. So grab those Omega-3 health potions. One bit of wall to clunk that back up. Hopefully I don't set fire to any of my own things. Oh, of course. Right, you get out of here. We'll turn these annoying things off. We get back to base and start setting up our defense with 26 flamethrowers. I don't know if that's sufficient or not. I would really, really rather like to not have this be so vulnerable to, um... Well, to falling, really. So there we go. That should reduce the need for all of these small, scrappy ones. Look at that, some of these guys are out of power already, so they love to attack down here, it seems. I can give you back some of this, but now what I truly, absolutely need to do is get some, um, get some proper fire defense. Now I need a ton more pipes than I have, and I'm going to quickly head back. It's daytime. At nighttime, the next attack will come. And I need to at least make sure that the dangerous areas are shored up. Flamethrower turrets are such a nice quality of life feature for oil outposts. Are they really a quality of life feature? Doesn't seem like a right kind of thing to phrase it as, but... I am too busy to think. <laughs> you know the feeling. Right, pipes. I clearly need more pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. Da -da 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 -da. This should be about 800 pipes. You guys keep going. Keep on going. That's a hefty amount of engines, right? No, it's 29 of them. Funny, why did I think I had so many more of them? What a wonderful position being full on steel. Right. Another turbocharge of steel plating then. Away goes all of that. And now we really can't be dawdling on that defense anymore. We got the pipes, kind of. We got the flamethrowers, kind of. I do still want my flamethrowers being being made though, so just make sure that they are actively being created. What's your problem? Everything. Then take everything. I'm still making my pipes, so don't worry. I'm not still making my pipes. Worry. Take those. Take these. Alright, I cannot continue to dawdle. Uh, yeah, that should be enough pipes. In case it's not, make a few more. And let's go and start up our defense good and proper. <clears throat> I'll worry about uh, loading up on oil real soon. Actually, probably now. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Just start 
caching that oil. Not the right word, but it doesn't matter. Now, no, 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 no. Flamethrower turrets, activate. You are my primary defense. That's... That's a better distance for you, so I'm going to have you there and there. Oh, of course this thing is in the way. Uh, right, go there. Right, huzzah. Now, how much distancing can we get to still have some reasonable overlap? Let's see, you stop about there by those trees. Those trees which I will kindly get rid of so I don't even look at them anymore. So about where that corpse is, so I want another one about here. So let's say we do, and this is just a bare minimum, one, two, three, four of these, and then has all. Right, how's that then? Uh, it's easier if we look here and see that. Ah, crap, that should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, let's do it again then. One, two, three, and into you. And then I'm going to want to copy this design. Da da! And now my beloved bots can get to bleeding work, because they'll be able to do this faster than me. Now, this is the absolute bare bloody minimum flamethrower defense. But fire is just so incredibly powerful. I'm actually going to put another one here, I dare to say. Just because it's a bit undefended here as it is. There we go. And look at that, immediately getting to work roasting those little buggers to death. I like it a lot. Now, what about here? Uh, well, this is completely fine, so we don't need to worry about it. Oi, stop doing that. Yeesh! Okay, they are also majorly attacking up there. There's no real issue out here. They're holding fine. So what I need to do is turn this north. I do apologize in advance for barely paying attention to chat, but this is a bit intense. Yeah, when I ran this um, pretty leisurely, I noticed at about the seventh night... They just completely overwhelmed the gun turret defenses. Look, these poor guys are useless. They're out of um, out of goodies. Now I need to turn this thing north. Um, and, um, and, um, and, um, and, um. First, we copy this beautiful design that I have, and we start sticking it in willy nilly. You already get there, so really, this is kind of what I want. Of course, that's of no use to anybody if you don't actually get up that way. Now, you might think, wow, that's really not a lot of oil to go on. And you're right. However, flame turrets are extremely cheap to run. I believe they only use about three oil per second of firing, and they usually don't fire for more than a few seconds. Whereas though the oil outpost I have, even though it's only three of them, it's going to be constantly outputting. Day 7 has begun, there is no time for dawdling. Uh, how am I on repair packs? Please tell me I have repair packs. Okay, I <laughs> have barely any repair packs. Fair enough. How many more flame turrets do I have? Not a lot. Well, that's no good. These crummy defenses might as well not be here now, so they're just going to go away. It's just wasting ammo when uh, flame turrets could do the same thing without costing me. Now, you come out to about there, meaning I'm going to just want another one. Yeah, right. Just, just be on the corner, will you? Something like here, and here. Something like that should do. Get away with you guys, you're not going to be fooling anybody. I'm about to run into the I don't have any flame turrets left problem, which is a very real problem. They're a bit far ahead, I think. I'm actually going to pull them back. That'll do. 
Uh, I only have nine left. Eight left. Get rid of all of this, especially the trees. The trees just getting in my way. I can't see what I'm doing. No seeing, no thinking. I might consider that no problem, but I don't. Uh, they're also using up all of my energy now, so uh, undo that. Just get back. Very slowly recharge on me. Just, oh, why not you get on mining that then? And keep the defense going. And once I run out, that's when I go back and I double down on flame defenses. As in, continuing to produce them. And then I'm going to feel like I have a bit of respite to the point where I could actually start building things that resemble a proper factory. But only once I have a complete flame defense, then I'll want to do things like produce walls. Okay, that's relatively fine. Just going to want you here. Huh, I got more of these things than I thought. Although, this is my these are my last two. Uh, screw it over here. And then there. They're really far back here, actually. I turned these around too quickly. They don't actually properly cover. That's okay. That's why there's a control X in this game. So take it out and just move it forward until it does properly cover. Somewhere like there should suffice. These poor overworked bots of mine. There we go. If you put oil storage every so often, throughput throughput is almost never an issue for these things. Uh, wow, I ran out of all my pipe to grounds. Okay, well, fortunately we're right back here at our main manufactory hub. We can get to work, and I just got a whole lot more of these things. Hopefully I've got a whole lot more of everything else too. Uh, we are even backed up on coal, which is cool. That tells me I'm going to expand my buffer. There you go, guys. Now give me that coal. We've got to restart our production of damn near everything right now. I know, I know. It's kind of disgusting doing all this hand feeding. Not at all what Factorio is about. But I've never done wave defense before, and this just seemed the most natural way to go about it in my eyes. Yeah, Factorio is about the only game that I streamed that was in early access. And you know what? Just like the very reason I don't generally stream early access games, it's true, it was good in early access, but oh, so much better on full release. I wouldn't go so far as to say I wish I'd waited on release. Right, that steel. Give, 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 give. Mmm. Oh, that's a pretty delectable amount of steel. Keep these bad boys going. How's my pipes doing? I'd be doing even better if they were piped to ground, which I also now need. So, here you go, and here you go. Kind of. <laughs> right, come on, get to, get to bleeding work. We need that. And this is more coal than I need, so there you go. Oh, right, things are getting destroyed. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, I bleeding hate when they aggro on your pipes and things. Fortunately, we're already banking our fuel up here, so it's not the world's biggest loss. But yeah, it's just nasty when they do that. Uh, okay, sure. I'll need to go and fix that proper. All those noises fill me with such dread, though. Alright, continue making flamethrower turrets. Happens knows I need them. And now I need to go and fix all of that. Where is my car? I left my car over there, of course. Wait, really? I thought I had two cars. Where's my other car? Uh, pass. Just keep cranking out these things, why not? I really need to get started on proper wall production and automated repairs would go a long way as well. 
My own bots can do it, but it's real slow going. Right, so, how could they? How? I mean, why? Why do they do this? I'm pretty sure they're not meant to aggro on these. Maybe it's just because there were too many, um... Yeah, maybe they're just because there were too many. Let's get rid of these annoyances. Um... I'm gonna bring this out just a little further again. And I do still want it down to the south as well. It just seems more reasonable. That's not inside flamethrower territory. They don't aggro on them, but they jump. If they bump into anything, they start biting. Yeah, I can tell. Right. This seems to be doing alright. In fact, they haven't even aggroed in this at all. So, so, so. Okay, defenses look pretty good. I just need to complete them around the wall. Probably scoop up all of my... Um, is there a way to stop them from doing that repair job? I mean, it's good and all, better than doing manual repairs, but... Oh, I know how to stop them. Um, 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 where are my repair packs? Give me all my repair packs. If I trash my repair packs... Aha! Oh, right, they have to manually bring me all the ammo as well. Huh, if that's the case, that's probably faster just to scoop them up. And if that's the case, actually, I'm going to take those out and I will have them do repairs. Might as well, better than breaking on through. What a horrid looking outpost. I have a perfect name for it. Go on, young spoilers. Right, I need a lot more of those uh, repair packs. Where are they again? Where are repair packs? Oh, okay. I need the iron for it, which I don't have at all. Might not be the worst thing in the world to leave these gun turrets, actually. I just wanted them for their ammo, but now I have way too much ammo. They make nice little aggro things for the biters to spit at, or rather the spitters to spit at. Right, looking good at that. Looking good at lots of things. Perhaps too many things. Always, always, always need more of these, though. There is never a factory that has a sufficient number of cogs. Never, ever. Anybody who claims they do, just just lying through their teeth. Right, keep on making them. Of course they can't, because they don't have enough cogs. And I was needing pipes to ground, which I now have. Do I have enough? I don't know. Is this a no belt? Oh, we use belts. We just are in too much of a hurry to think about them all that much. Right, since I have pipes to, pipes to ground, you can start building this. And I can continue my glorious defense. And I can also... I'll just make a full stack of those. I want my wall to be double wall. I want redundancy in this as well. It's highly unlikely they're ever going to come all the way down here. Even so, let's be ready for them. There we go, go. That's an excellent defense. Especially for where we are. Of course, I worry when they start bringing in the big boys. What I now really need is automated defenses, or automated repairs, rather. Oh my... Why? Why? <laughs> oh my days. Right, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna pipe this stuff up and along here. Just to keep that out of my bleeding hair. Right. This is just costing me time that I don't have. Use a train, says Poland. In what capacity do you think I have the anything to be working with trains? Aberdeen, not bad. Horrible, dingy place like that. Yeah, Aberdeen's a good name. Right, that's a worryingly large amount of damage because they're using the old medium biters now. 
I would actually like to have more flame turrets going, believe it or not. Alright, don't even bother replacing these things because they're clearly, uh, clearly mad about biting everything. So instead, we are going to be heading up north here. Since they don't really come from this area, I, I'm out of pipes to ground again? Oh, that's bad. I thought I just made a ton of them, but evidently not. Doesn't matter. Take these ones. Put them to use up north instead. Shouldn't be any real difference in the range here. And look at that, I've backed up a load of the stuff. I'm running out of these things. Oh, but uh, we don't need to take power this way. Well, later I won't have to, because I'm going to have the power and the... Um, power and the fluids go up this way. Gonna add a little bit of regular pipe. Really scrounging for materials here. Um, that is just barely outside of blast range for the fire. And any, any, any. In fact. I should make sure that that... Wait, what? Get over there. I should make sure that that's pumping in this way. Do I have pumps? Do I have pumps? Pumps, 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 pumps. No. Well, I can make one easily enough. Just make sure that that stuff is flooding on in here. I'd like to make some storage tanks, but I don't have what I need for that. Oh, I don't think I ran the power, did I? No, I did not. Um, I want you there, and I want my health potions here. And I can do quick ad hoc repairs like so. Let's actually have some somewhat safe, uh, well, maybe safe uh, power here. And I just start dragging this thing out here. And this will po uh, power the outpost. Instead of this, which the biters seem to love nibbling on. Right, that took way too long. What a waste of uh, time and resources. Horrendous. Okay, what now? Truly, what now? We have something resembling defense coming in, but the attacks are just getting bigger and better each time. It's more of a question to the general populace here, what now? Because there's a million things that I could be doing if I have a general defense set up. And everything needs to be put towards defense. It's a scary thing. I could set up a proper smelting area, but that's a lot of time to, to sink. Still find myself a little short on pipes, worryingly so. So, um... Pipes, please. I do want to bank a bit more oil. In case, God forbid, uh, something goes down with my oil supplies. You're the first person to play this mode. You're on your own, says I. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's pretty cool, though. Pollution is an awesome mechanic, but it's very easy, in my opinion, to handle. Uh, crumbs. Where's my Where's my oil reservoir? Well, I'm not finding it. I think it's a little further south. Doesn't matter. Here's the new, improved oil reservoir, which I think I will keep. Quite far away from that ah, crap. That's what I get for not having goodies. Right, well never mind, it goes right here then. Donk, 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 donk. I should uh, gather up loads of oil reserves for my defenses. And I do really actually want to just double up on the amount of flame defense I have. 
It's not unthinkable to be doing laser defenses to supplement it, but that's going to start requiring a whole bunch of copper and battery and fluid handling, which I don't really have, so perhaps I should shy away from that for now. You guys get away from me. Loads of damage being done at various different places. They're going to start breaking through my walls real soon. Automated defenses are going to be rough and expensive. Um, I need to pause and think for a moment. Mm. These attacks are ramping up big time. Automated defense, we certainly have the tech for it, but it's going to require a lot of... Oh, a huge amount of manufacturing, actually. Flying robot frames. Um, tools are nice and simple, but the robo ports are not. That's a lot of iron, uh, a lot of steel gears and red circuits. I don't even have regular circuits done. And you need oil processing to deal with that. Holy moly, this is overwhelming. Really overwhelming. Yeesh. Well, looking at the base, I know I'm missing something important about this run. We just get attacked every day, or rather every night. So defenses are really important. Feels like blueprints are a real must in this. Whew. Jeez, right. What, uh, what could I, should I do here? I wonder if the attacks will relent if I take out these alien bases. Not alien bases. <laughs> Not playing Xenonauts. Uh, the biter bases. Um, if they do, what could I do for that? Does flamethrower ammo require... Ooh, just crude oil and steel. I could actually go there and just set them on fire. Yeah, I certainly have the steel for it. It's made in a chemical plant, but... Uh... Certainly have a lot of steel. Right, let's go on that assumption then. We're gonna go grab a flamethrower and go and torch these buggers. What about a tank? Don't tanks have that? Uh, it needs advanced circuits and loads of engines. Okay, I think I'm gonna go out there and start uh, torching some of them. A little huge on items here though. Let me make a couple of uh, steel chests. Cannot insert. Jeez, uh, uh, what can I get rid of? Here we go. Nobody cares about this. Uh... Right, just like take my stuff. Take all of my bleeding stuff right now. Uh, except not all of my stuff. What am I trying to do? Think. Think, 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 think. I want to bring crude oil over here, but it's already here. That's not a problem. And I want to make some flamethrower stuff and a flamethrower. I should discard things which are just taken up. Sp or rather... Why don't I just have this here and I can shove extra goodies into it. There we go. Right. Blamwaffen. Uh, steel and gears. Oh, of course, I just ditched my gears. Come to me. Alright, flamethrower get. Chemical plant, already have one. Uh, so if I just shoved you here, shove you here and you there and ah, screw it. I don't have the underground pipes, so just take that. Could I have the underground pipes? I'm gonna make a bunch of my own ones here. Since I keep finding myself short on them. Right, there you go. I want flamethrower ammo pretty badly. You need power. Fortunately, I have power over here. And here's all that steel. Uh, what a strange number of steel for it to take. Anyway, make me flamethrower ammo, and I am going to go and torch some alien bases. Keep the steel flowing, keep the iron flowing, just generally keep things flowing. Just such a big believer in fire. I would love to actually improve the production of my, um, of my walls, which is to say start the production of my walls, but I should have a lot of brick right here. Look at all that. 400 walls. Make it now. Oh boy, you know what? You know what? Copy and... Pasta. 
Oh, I don't have these, do I? Right. Um, I can't make them because I'm busy making walls. And I can't make them because I don't have probably copper or iron. Ah, oh, jeez. All is forgiven. Come back to me. Make all of that. Make all of that. Uh, how I wish the intermediates were already done. You're just going to be wooden... Um... Ah. So many things to do, but I'm just one man! Just trying to double up the amount of uh, stone that I make so that I have even more... Even more to make walls with. Right, is that operational? You're not sitting on tons of stone, but it'll have to do. And then the stone comes out and the walls get made. How am I going to use these walls? Haven't figured that out yet. It's probably not important. Now, how are you doing with my vast collection of flamethrower ammo? It's not vast enough, but it's going to have to do. Let's try tearing down some alien bases. I believe in fire. Do you? Oh, yeah, burn, baby, burn! Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not afraid of you guys. And look at that, I'm getting bonuses. Uh, in this mode, you get points for tearing down fighter bases and... Um, oh, what's the other thing? Worms. Tear out the worms and you get points. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, there we go. That burned through all of my flame for ammo, so it might not have been very uh, steel efficient. It bothers me how extreme the costs of uh, steel are for making flamethrower ammo, but needs must. Give it to me. Ah, jeez, it's just not enough, is it? Right, well, we need more then. I know when I see the need for more, it's very slow to make too. It's like the game doesn't want you using this stuff. Is drinking up that oil though. A hundred crude oil for it. Well, good thing we're backing up on that oil. Good. Oh, we got thousands of oil. How much is in the system? Almost a hundred thou. Very nice. Now get repairing my bots. They're a bit slow on it. Come on, pick up the pace. Loads of my own entities being damaged. I, I really want automated defenses. Would it be easier to take a line out for pocketing turrets? I don't know what you mean by that. Take a line out for pocketing turrets. Oh, sorry. I do not undergestanken you. Spitters, we don't particularly like spitters. I can't counter them with my, uh, my own flamethrowers particularly well. Nice how easy it is to kill spitters with uh, regular guns, though. Pipeline for flame turrets. Uh, it would be more cost effective, but it would be too slow. I mean, no one will get time for that. Oh, he gets me. Alright, come and get some, you ugly bastards. use these upgrade points on something, if I had to guess. It's all about mining productivity. Give me as much of that as you can. Thinking about it, maybe flamethrower. <laughs> maybe flamethrower power would be better. Right, I don't know if this is going to make my life easier or not. I guess we'll soon find out. Right, upgrades. Find those flammables. This seems like a nice easy one to take out. Oh, oh boy, they're already breaking through the walls. Because that spitter, those spitters are outside of our flame turrets range. That's bad. Oh well. Nobody said it would be good.
really wonder if that's going to let up on the attacks around here. Guess we'll soon find out. If we pay attention, which I might not. God, fire is so good in this game. I love fire. <laughs> Must be an amount of fire that you should put down and then ground fire can do the rest. Okay, splendid. We got a fair few points, let's upgrade our flammables twice, and they should be doing a whole lot of damage now. Well, one can hope. How are you doing on the flamethrowers here? Uh, yeah, vastly increase the amount of damage they're doing. I really worry about this. Um, I guess I need to fix it. But I'm just not producing. Anytime I'm doing this, I ain't producing. But I think if I if I go out and murderize some uh, bases, maybe the attacks will let up quite a bit, and then I can double up my own defenses and then keep going with the whole wall treatment. Is that really enough iron uh, steel for them? There we go. When in doubt, have more steel. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Can I think? No idea. Right, let's go. I do have a bunch of wall, and since there seems to be a weak point down here, let's go and deploy the wall. Does the map keep extending out to the edges of the biter bases? The map will extend infinitely. There was an option to have an infinite map or not, and I made it sure that it uh, was infinite, because I don't generally like playing with finite uh, spaces in Factorio. Right, you, know, you really are a bit of a weak spot, aren't you? But Maybe that's all the more reason that this definitely should have the gun turrets. Yeah, well... Here you go, then. And which is more... There we go, since it seems like a bit of a weak spot. They don't seem to be going that much for the... Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say, they don't seem to be going much for the... Uh the gates, but no, they certainly are. Come on, guys. Fix. Stop being so slow and get fixing. In fact, I am going to do a proper run around and fix these walls and double up where appropriate. Wish I had more bots. But you get some very basic modular armor stuff. Too slow to do yourself, that's why we have bots. Fascinating, they even took a chunk out of you. Right, tell you what, give me those. Even give me the concrete, I'll have concrete. Uh, why is that all... That's weird. Huh. Hmm, well. Must be part of the scenery. Right. You go off, flamethrower comes out. Oh boy. I'm gonna feel a whole lot better when I've doubled up my amount of flamethrowers, but even then, when uh, when Big Biter starts joining the scene, it's gonna be a less than fun story. So this is this is the nightly attack. What can we learn from what we see here? Look, they are streaming out of these guys. So maybe look at how nothing is going on where we cleared out these bases. Okay, right, we've learned the trick then. Eliminate the bait, uh, the Biter bases. Have an easier time on the sieges. I think that's going to help out quite a lot. Let me help you out there, my friend. Bots, go and repair the walls while you can, please. Don't get destroyed. I have a limited number of you. Holy macaroni. Uh, a lot of different places getting attacked. I don't see any large spitters or large biters involved. Thank goodness. Walls are completely flame through, uh, flame proof, and they have resistance to many things. Come on, bots! Oh, my bots are out of battery because it's not daytime. Right. Well then, let's give them what's for. Grenades would be pretty good for this. Why didn't I set my grenades to my thing here? Because with a grenade, you can just go plunk, and it feels good. Then again, ground fire might even be more cost effective. Oi, oi, none of that spitter nonsense. 
I'm not the world's biggest fan of those um, of those heavy damage dealing um, rotters. The worms, the worms are hardcore. All right, day twelve. That's probably a bit of an achievement right there. Get the fire right in the middle of these guys. I'm sure they will. She'll sure take super bonus damage from it. Oh god! You, yeah, those guys. Those guys mean business. They got to burn. Damn, that fire is effective. Why do I not run with flamethrowers more often playing this game? I mean, I use them as defense, but as offense, I'm starting to understand why they're so hideously expensive to make fuel for. All right, with a bit of luck, that's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. We've got 3,000 points, what do we want to upgrade? Uh, none of this really speaks to me, actually, because we don't really do any of this stuff. I guess I um, can never go wrong with mining productivity, and since we do still use a bit of regular ammo, let's upgrade that. Uh, that bonus should hopefully double down, so if we check one of these guys... Yeah, they now do 7 damage instead of 5. So, uh, not too shabby. Nay too shabby, Ken. And... Splat! Worm is high priority. Down it goes. What kind of worm was that? Anybody with elf eyes notice what kind of worm that was? Because it seemed pretty chunky. I don't think they put Bayamot worms as close to me, but... He was an unpleasant looking character. Okay, 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 Jesus. I'm also not sure if there are expansion parties for the... for the bugs in this game. But there is an evolution rate, I only just noticed that. Uh, isn't it 50% for big biters? It's really? That's just a small worm? Uh oh, get me out of here, this could be dangerous. Even small worms do big damage, especially when I'm just in crummy modular armor. exit plan for all of this. So let's just continue to burn down some of their bases. Let's not let ourselves die. Even though there are medium biters after me. And let's be happy enough with a job well done on this. Okay, that should alleviate some of the attacks coming my way. I'm going to take this one out as well, and then I'm going to turn most of my attention up north. With this, I've got a pretty good defense going here. Ooh, that's a lot of worms. Right, get in, get flaming them, and then get away. Ground fire. The worms seem very weak to ground fire. More weak than I had ever imagined. If you just generally change your direction at the last moment, the worms tend to miss you. They are a bit rubbish at, uh, at aiming like that. The problem is when there's a lot of worms, not to mention the worms, the, uh, the worms' acid spit on the ground, which will persist for quite a while. You run into that, you slow down, you take damage, it's all bad news. There we go. If that ain't progress, I don't know what is. Not bad. Not bad at all. My beloved bots go and fix whatever you can around here. Like I said, my attention turns north. Probably the first thing I'm going to do is double up the amount of defenses uh, in terms of flamethrowers that I have up north. Did anybody notice that the evolution was going up for every base that I destroyed? That... that sounds reasonable. But of course I wasn't paying attention. Feels like it was at 24 and now it's at 26. Uh, as usual, my car is not where I need it to be. 
And that's a pretty pathetic offence for them down here. It was a lot bigger the previous night. As soon as I get automated defences and plenty of flamethrower turrets, I reckon my defence is all but assured. And that should buy me a time to actually build a proper factory. I can see where multiplayer would come in such handy here. Such hand I meant English problems. All arise from playing Factorio, clearly. If this were multiplayer, somebody could have been building an actual factory while I'm out taking care of the biters. Um, I'm actually going to start having some real places to store my goods here. More. It's not like I'm short on steel for once. Local Factorio player actually has enough steel. People come from miles around just to get their photo taken with this kind of factory. Pipes. I always believe in the pipes. Yearning for a house? Well, I suppose this is what the feeling must be like. Someone to take care of the uh, the kids, aka the assembly machines, while you're while you're out working at Big Biter. The jokes write themselves. Right, take that. Although it's always good to have a few on hand. And I want a bigger buffer. More buffer is good buffer. I need to restart my. Um, Need to restart a lot of my unfueled machines here. If uh, if pollution is a non-factor, then I don't see any good reason to shy away from using burner inserters. Uh, not burner inserters, burner burner drills, burner miners. Drink up coal. Keep producing that iron. Where is my iron throne? Bad, not bad. Will the community multiplayer be streamed? Of course. Now the pain of uh, not being able to join in these things, so at least people could vicariously enjoy it through others playing. Jeez, these guys are almost out of coal. That's how hard the steel mines, uh, the steel smelter has been working. Just wish I was faster, but oh uh, well. It would also be better if this were somewhat more automated, but it is not, and we cannot complain too much about that. Alright, so I should have a lot more flamethrower stuff to make. I'm going to make another butt-ton of walls. I'm going to reinforce the rather undefended north. I'm also going to take a screenshot of this and compare it to later, so, uh, so that I'll have an answer as to whether or not they uh, do expansion parties. Steel being turned into flamer fuel is one of the most unorthodox things I can think of in Factorio. Come on, bots, get to bloody work! There we go, jeez. Okay, bricks, 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 and more bricks. Be made into a gorillion walls, please. Every wall you can. So-called automation. Can't even put you here because it'll be mixed with um, copper and. Actually, I don't think that would actually be a problem. Maybe it's hard to say. May eventually want. Oh, good lord! What a real problem to have. Too much copper in the early game. Say it ain't so. Uh, you guys will not get an upgrade because I don't have the wherewithal. However, I could. I only have wood, so. Here you go, have that. At least, uh, at least those power poles is one thing that I have tons of and can continue to produce whenever I want. Worst case scenario, I'd get kicked after accidentally running a tank over half the tea. Well, in this mode, if the setup a uh, fish there, you there, you there. 
In this mode, if the rocket silo gets destroyed, that's game over. So you could totally troll this mode just by joining and immediately blowing up the silo. But I think the admin has the power to simply resume, right? Or rest I don't know if restart round restarts from the very start, but yeah, the, the griefing opportunity in Factorio is very high. I'm not sure if I've ever griefed in a video game. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would give me my jollies. I mean, I do often say that seeing people being miserable gives me life, but it has to be a certain kind of misery. Oh, get away from that. Those biters can and will eat bots. Holy smokes, they've done a fair chunk of damage around here. Right, well... So I'll do this. I don't want my bots running out of power or getting destroyed right now. This corner is uh, very weak. Also, eesh, they are they are gunning for it out there as well. Okay, so we really need to ramp up the defenses. Corners are quite weak. All things considered, I should really have more here. Why do I again not have pipes? How does this keep happening? Right, cancel the walls for now, make me some more pipes, and then make more walls. There you go. Automated defenses would change everything here. But automated defenses are expensive. A lot of flying robot frames, that means electric engines, that means engines, lubricant, green chips. <laughs> Question chat, how many green chips have we produced? <laughs> Starts with Z and ends in Eero, and I'm not counting handcrafts for the mining drills. Crikey, some of this is outright gone. Right, bots get to work. At least a little bit. Plenty of destroyed guns here, and look at the carnage. But it really trails off down here because, hey, no real biter bases to speak of. Alright, well, be that as it may. The bug SOM is going to need to be built over slightly. I love how it just gets rid of some of the corpses when you build this stuff. So reinforce. Uh, I'm going to need to have more flamethrower turrets here. Ooh, we've already backed up right Get to work my bots or don't. God, these bots are just they live to annoy me. Right. Come here, biter buggers. And kindly die. Then die even more. And then locate the spitter. Torch the spitter. The spitter's got a friend, I just noticed. And it's not a spitter, it's a worm. But nomenclature is hard. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the bugs can't catch you if you're on fire. Right, that takes care of that slight nuisance. Let's chow down on some Omega-3 health potions. Take care of all of you. And then the next batch. So, I was actually trying to look up information about this mode, but it's so undocumented. I, I think, really, there's not a lot of people playing this at all. Which is sad. This is pretty cool. It's certainly not the the real Factorio experience that most people I imagine go for, but I like this more frantic, hands-on approach. Although it'd probably be better with some actual company. I was tempted to open this up for multiplayer, but I wanted to see how far I could go myself. Besides, we're having a multiplayer at the weekend. Get our chow on. I'm running out of Omega-3 health potions, but I'm at the water, so once I wipe this out, I'm going to task my bots with grabbing me some much-needed um, healthy fatty acids. As long as I don't die here. Yeesh. Dodging that spit ain't as easy as it looks. And I don't think it looks easy. Quite demanding on the controls as well. Spacebar to shoot, WASD to move. 
but also the hotkeys 1, 2, 3 for my other items. I don't use the toolbar that often, but eating fish is the only way to immediately restore your health in this game. Holy smokes, that's a lot of... A lot of worms! Burn. All of you burn. Danger, danger! Barely, barely made a dent in them there. Right, I just need to strafe around and take care of those annoying uh, worms more than anything else. Yes, I'm aware I'm running out of fish. Hopefully my base can continue on for a night without my glorious oversight. Ooh, goes up per base a little less than 1% per base. Okay, well, until we reach 30%, I think it's relatively okay. But 30%, Big Biter joins the prey, and uh, Big Biter is very powerful and fast. Uh, actually, he might be a little slower than medium. I can't remember. I am churning my way through this fuel, but I just need a bit of headway here to go fishing. Burn, 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 and you guys. Regent spitters. Right, oh, that's a big spitter. What the hell? I thought... Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Big spitters don't appear at 28 evolution, right? forest fires. Although I don't think it'll actually have any real effect. Right, I need you and I need you to only get fish. Anything within my range is good. Uh, oh, I didn't even use it. <laughs> oh, crikey. Okay, come on. Give me the fish, give me the fish, give me the fish. Fishing just like how my grandpappy used to do it. There we go, that's health potions for days. Fish do not replenish, they are a finite material in Factorio, just like almost everything. The only infinite materials in Factorio are oil, water, sunlight, and I'm not even sure if there is if there are any other. I suppose time is infinite if you count that, which I don't. Space is not strictly infinite. You can reach the edge of the map in Factorio. I think it takes about two hours of riding a direct nuclear-powered train to reach it. But that does make it finite. Oh god, I've got a lot of points for upgrades. Any bright ideas, chat, on what to upgrade here? I mean, yeah, fire damage might be a not-too-bad idea. There we go. Oh god, get away! Uh, there. Strange enough, these buttons, you need to press them to dismiss them. You can't just hit escape and away they go. That threw me for a bundle. Ah, I feel so much better having so much fish on me. So much fish, we don't need to worry about these guys. The biters are infinite, the clock will overflow. Uh, will it though? I highly doubt the Factorio devs would keep that in. Sagacious as they are. Right, I have chewed through about um, 500 steel worth of my portable fire. And you know what? It was probably worth it. I think that's going to really lessen the impact the biters have. There's another biter psalm over here. I reckon if we wipe out these three bases, we're going to have a big chill time. And I'm up for that, so I'll have my guys do a bit of repair work. I'm going to top up on flamethrower ammo, wipe them out, 
And then we start building a proper factor. No, no, better defenses first. I'm gonna probably triple the amount of flamethrowers. How many flamethrowers do I have right now? 32. I got 55 on hand. And we're probably still making some. Speaking of still making some, more walls. I can't think of any other use for bricks. I don't know Protozomac. I'm hoping that some more keen-eyed viewers can help me out with that assessment. It's nice. That is a nice flamethrower fuel, 161 of it. More steel. More flamethrower turrets. More iron. I am facing a bit of a choke point with the iron that it's not being collected fast enough. That might sound like a wonderful problem to have, and in a sense it is. But it does mean that the iron production is not running full pelt like it should be. Thank you, burners. Keep on burning for me. Even though I said I didn't want them. Right, uh, tell you what, I could even bag some steel here. Some copper here. And it uh, might not even be the worst idea to move over some of this coal. We have a ton of it after all. Just so I can very quickly visualize coal to hand. Hats off to those coal miners doing God's work with our starting patch. I think much like vanilla, the starting patch is weaker than outside. Look at that, 9 million, 6 million. I've only got about 1 million here in the base. That's still three times more than you'll generally find in a standard Factorio game, but you're much less at liberty to just go and expand on this mode. As best I can tell. Could extend east of the water and eliminate those weak corners. Defense first, then we think about expansion. Right, what's these guys' problem? Not enough iron, but that's fine, because... Unbelievably, we're actually doing well on steel. Although I wish I'd just thrown it all away. Keep on working, keep on working. Let's turn these into my dedicated... Um... Oh, thank God. I was really worried about my lack of pipes, but there they all are. There we go. Make me loads of engines, you two. And you guys just make me loads of... Um... Loads of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a shame they need everything in such high quantities, otherwise I would just set up some sort of... Um, some sort of feeder chests, at least. Still, though, hefty amount of flamethrowers. Oh, jeez, they, they are still attacking all around, though, aren't they? Right, let's put a bit of thought into automated defenses. I need a hell of a lot of uh, advanced circuits out of my roboports. But, that could be done. Um, I would just need to very swiftly split that... Or I don't even need to do advanced stuff, but I would. Make some plastic, put those into advanced circuits, make circuits. I'd have to drag off proper smelting, though. That's the big time sink that I'm worried about. Um, but I could even start a basic bus. As long as I get roboports... Ah, but roboports are no good on their own. What I need are... Uh, well, those are not too hard to make. Even you're not too hard to make. It's just a real time sink. I need like 20 minutes unabated to deal with that. And I'm not going to do that before I double up my amount of turrets. Okay, this is ridiculous. Why are we facing big biters? I need answers. Good answers. Big biters at 29% evolution? Victoria's proof that there's nothing quite as permanent as a temporary <laughs> I love that, because it's a challenge mode, yeah, maybe. We're working under different rules here. Okay, 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 okay. I think what I'm going to do is add one extra flamethrower turret between everything. That's not quite the tripling that I was talking about before. But it doesn't require much of anything for me to do. And it will significantly increase our defenses because now there's going to be significant overlap. Uh, these are just some very, very sorry looking buggers. But corners are important, so actually, I am going to just. Oh, crikey, I don't have a lot of firearm magazines, do I? 
There you go. Believe in the coroner. Um, still think you're going to want some extra offense here, so I'm actually going to double up there. Huge streams of boiling oil does a whole lot. Now, oil actually doesn't do as much damage as light or heavy oil. If you use light oil for your flame defenses, they're going to be significant. Well, they will be 10% stronger, 5% stronger with heavy oil, but that stacks with your tech upgrades you have to damage. I still don't think it's worthwhile, but I do use light oil when I have to do expeditions of expansion, and then I barrel up um, oil and then bring it with me. You rotter. Well, nothing I can do about that right now. I have to work on my defenses. Where the biter's AI sometimes just exists to bother you. Is he still working on that? No, he eventually aggroed on the main thing and went for it. Okay, well, I don't have any copper to be making more of those with. I would like more repair packs, because there's a lot to repair. How far are you away from here, anyway? Um, uh, easy way to count, easy way to count. Ooh. That, plus two. 13, 14, 15, so I don't think any of the uh, biters or spitters could actually reach them from there. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. And I'm actually going to keep these here without ammo, because... They'll still aggro. Or rather, they will still draw aggro. And aggro going on them is aggro that's not going on my incredibly vital um, flamethrower turrets. They aren't just vital because they deal out the damage. Every flamethrower turret is a link in the chain. If a flamethrower turret goes, the link is broken. Uh, what am I looking for? Flamethrower turret. I hope I didn't break the chain myself accidentally. It's very very plausible. Are extra defenses on this front worth the time? Hard to say, but I have a lot of them and there's no ongoing cost for having the flamethrower there. If the flamethrower goes there and sits and deals no damage ever, well, all I've really spent is the assembly of that one flamethrower. I suppose it's deployment to a degree. Right, you go there, you go there, you go here, and we still want you there. Actually, not even there. Have you hither and dither, and I even would quite like some more storage tanks, but honestly, a quarter million oil is going to take care of all of my problems. <laughs> Forever, I'm sure. This, uh, this corner is a little too undefended for my liking. And uh, I'd be tempted to tear you out, but I won't. Right, that's pretty good. Even on the corner, there's quite a bit of blasting going on. The problem is just if spitters decide that they want to hang back and take care of my walls. Also, we took too long. It's already attack o'clock. It must be coming from these further away areas, then. Hmm. Now, I am not being consistent on which side of the central uh, underground belts that I'm putting these things. That's going to be a pain later if I ever want to have some kind of blueprinted solution to this, but when I stream Factorio, I prefer not to use blueprints. I like to think that when playing this, I'm working on the fly with designs that I have to come up with myself. Or at the very least, vaguely remember from stealing from others. Right, a weakness. Glad we noticed this now. They're getting through here because I tore down this wall, which I should not have done. So please go and put that wall down. They were getting too close and they were able to spit all over my flamethrower turret. I think you cut off power to the pump jacks. I hope not. But I did, well spotted. Um, not a problem though, their defences will work without that. This on the other hand, I don't need to care about at all. I'll just uh, pilfer it for walls. 
I'll even pilfer it for ooh, fish while, while we're at it. Why not? Hell, give me the concrete. Give me the guns. Give me everything. Come on, bots. It's daytime. We have solar power to keep you going. Uh, we don't have power for you anymore, so get back in here. And there we go. Now, for whatever reason, I didn't link this up, and I already regret not doing so. So we're going to have you come out, and then we're just going to go... Blah, 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 Ooh, okay. This will bother some people, I'm sure. Hell, it's already bothering me. Not least of all, because it's a pain to get around. It's also, I think, probably quite bad for UPS to have long reaches of... Um, regular pipe. Because it calculates flow at every entity, whereas two underground pipes count as two entities. Ten, ten regular things in a row. I don't think do. Right, almost worthless adding you here, but I just don't want to get blindsided by some behemoth spitter around here. Any chink in the armor and they could all come flooding in. By the way, correct me if I'm incorrect, but there's not been any cliffs in our base. I think I've noticed a cliff or two outside the base, but not inside. There we go. We barely chewed through any oil in the system. Uh, but it is going down, largely because I cut it off, didn't I? Still, though, this is acceptable. Come on, bots, keep on working for me. Right, I need to go and put power pack to the pump jack, and I would actually quite like to increase my oil reserves. Uh, also, more walls are good walls, so give me all of that. And... go. Oil reserves reserve, uh, require steel and... oh my god, look at all this iron! <laughs> Lots of iron in the early game, I don't believe what I'm seeing. Uh, this wood has no real use for me, and that's a lot of pipes, but these guys love my pipes too, so that'll chew through a bunch of them. Some people wanted me to run with the extended reach mod, but I want quality of life mods, not absolute cheat mods. You have to consider your design when considering how far Factorio guy can reach. I think some people run mods that allow you to just reach anywhere in the factory at once, now that just seems off. I said I had loads of steel, now I'm not quite so sure. Right, power, 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 fix power. Lower UPS, give yourself more time to think, could be quite useful for this run. I need to do so many things, I'm not even sure which one to start with. But now that we've doubled up the defense on the walls, I think it's not unreasonable to, um... Wow, that really did snip off right. There you go, that should be fine. I like redundancies, though. I really like redundancies, so... There we go. They'd have to snip off uncomfortable amount of this to take us out. I don't like being inside the flamethrower turret, which you actually are. Yeah, screw it, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I will be very much aware if it ever does get cut off. Right, screw that for now. I want... Oh my god, I didn't actually pick up the iron that I wanted. I wanted to increase my oil buffer, and I will. Can we get a reminder of the number of green circuits produced so far? I don't see why not. Production, items, all time, uh, circuits, all of those... Wait, I... Eh? Uh, I don't believe it. Have consumed more than I've produced. That's got to be a good sign. Oh, well, maybe the game started you off with some. That wouldn't be unreasonable. I've really got to set up a proper smelter, but I just don't feel like I have the time. Um, a little bit of steel. Just vastly increase our stores there. 
shove this straight into steel. Increase the oil, and then I need to start thinking about automated defences, which means basically setting up a proper factory. I just have to believe that this will hold. Although I don't believe it. I actually want to double wall. Because, I mean, listen to that. One wall goes, and there's a chink in the armour. Holy crap, all of this is gone. I don't even know how. Right, well, no time for worrying. Only time for expanding. That already comes out plenty. I should probably have you come out like so. There we go. Now there's space for God knows how much. Right, pause and think for five seconds. I need to repair some of that broken wall, that's for sure. Hmm. Yeah, actually, that's, that's first priority. We saw that there's some nasty stuff happening down south. Yeah, I had to actually place down a bunch of that wall because of uh, Big Biter having his filthy way with us. Day 18 is here, well at least it is day. I need more repair packs where I'm going. Look at the sheer amount of damage done here. And manual roll, wall repair, there's just no time for it. It would get to a stage where more damage gets done than you actively repair, even with your bots. That's why I need centralized automated bot defense. I'm just dreading the sheer amount of goods that that requires. Also, what's with what's with Bug Som down here? I just cleared this area and it's already um, looking unpleasant, right? If it's that bad down here, it's not like I'm short on um, flamethrower turrets right now. So we burn bugs. It's what we do. I don't have to pay for this in power or anything like that. It's just they bank 100 liquid and then they will send out that 100 boiling liquid. the start, middle, and end of it. Yeah, all crikey, even over here. Very few small uh, biters and spitters involved anymore. It's all mediums and large. And again, if I actually had a factory to draw resources from, we could definitely have automated repairs all operational by now. Ah, right. Does anyone in chat want to join for this? Because I'm already feeling the strain of having to build up a uh, factory and manage defences here. There's a lot to do, but at least we have the building blocks for damn near everything. We've got copper, iron, steel, and whatnot. Where's the housewife? <laughs> uh, actually, I don't even know how I'd do that. I think I'd have to save the game, right? So it's this wave defence stream. And I think you have to come out and then set up a host of a save game. Well, this is certainly not what this is for. Right. Hold on, hold on. I'll set something up. I'll set up a uh, Discord voice channel for it. go. So if anybody wants to join in there. Uh, hmm. hmm. How to keep a how to keep a super secret server password, I wonder. I want everybody knows the password, right? Anything else I need to check here? I don't ho I don't host stuff on Factory oft uh, often. Yeah, Hunter 2, clearly the right amount of characters. Right. There we go. There we go, go. Now, what in the world do I need to do? Set up a proper smelter facility, and the most important thing is getting automated defenses up. Ugh, that requires so many goods. No, I don't have time for that. 
I do not have time for proper any kind of smelty stuff. I just need the bare minimum to get these things operational, which means I just need to grab a whole load of this copper, which I hopefully have enough of to see through this whole time. And then... Jeez, oh, I'm already feeling that. <laughs> okay, right. Basic defences shouldn't require too many robo -post ports to do the outside because they're pretty good long range. So I just need to make enough of that to get it going. And it doesn't even need to cover the whole thing to begin with. So the age of pipe is over. The age of copper wire is now because I think all of the copper needs to be turned into copper wire. Of course, now I need all that copper wire over here. So uh, let's keep all that stuff there. Hey, I've got a car for these kinds of things. And I've got all this stuff here. Coal is main bus. Coal is my only bus. Right. Uh, oh god, I can't even fit this stuff in here. Yeah, just throw that in the ground then. Right, so green chips first. Can't go wrong with green chips. Hey, Dark Young's getting... Oh, man. Good thing I backed up the save. Uh, not that he wouldn't... Uh, not that he'd do nasty things. Right, 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 right. Oh, hey, Young! I said, hey, Young! I'm sure he's there. He's just pulling my, pulling my leg. Well, if he is there, I can't hear can't hear a word he's saying. Probably saying all nasty sorts of things about this base I've created. Well, at least we're not bussing copper cable. People would always slag that off. That is not a lot of copper, though, is it? Far from it. Ooh, boy. Yeah, they're not liking that much. Tell you one thing I immediately need these uh, these circuits for is making a whole heap of repair packs. There, make repair packs, repair packs make. Loads of them. Right. Right, right, right. Just just thinking what I need for these uh these bleeding save my save my base creations. I got the steel and the iron gear wheels. Really, all I need is advanced circuits, and we're not thinking about the we're not thinking about the robots just yet. Although we will have to think about them. Flying robot frames are going to require batteries and electric engines, which really just means lubric. What is all that destruction? It's just walls. Young, if you, young, are you even I'm there? I'm, I'm I'm here now. I'm here now. Sorry. Okay, I'm there there mind. we go. There we go. Right, uh, I'm trying to get automated defences going up. Um, there's one thing that would be really great would be grabbing um, these. Wait, do you have a do you have repair bots and like um, modular armor I, on you? I, I, I come with nothing. Uh, oh, bollocks. I come completely, completely out. Well, there's a whole lot of repair work that needs done around the wall, the walls, because I'm hearing them breaking and stuff. So you can grab yeah. bricks from the. Um, from the brick place, craft them into walls and fill any gaps, and grab repair packs to repair, whilst I'm trying desperately to get what we need to have automated defences. Where, where is your brick place? Uh, just up to the north. M for map, it's directly north from here. Oh yeah, I see. They're being smelted on the spot. Really hope this is the only use for my copper. Right, um, with that, with that, with that, I need to make some batteries. Not a lot of them, but enough of them. So, what do batteries need? 
Sulfur oh, sulfuric acid, right, go figure. And that needs petroleum gas. Right, this is going to be a, a real ghetto setup. Fortunately, the game starts you with some oil refineries. Really should only need one here to make some... Oh, I hate to say it, but actually just basic oil. No, 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 never be that desperate. Oh, but I am that desperate. All right, screw it, we're not using a lot of it. Basic oil processing. Eh? Oh, this thing's the wrong way around, isn't it? Then... Sulfuric acid is... Wait, sulfuric acid is just water. No, it's sulfur I need. Sulfur is water and petroleum. Oh, my days, there's no water. Ah, but there could be. This is the saddest excuse of a base I have ever known. I, I, I remember one that was worse than this. Don't worry. <laughs> not naming, not naming names, but so it's certainly an interesting mod. It's not even a mod. This is base game. Oh, that's what, that's what I meant to say. Mode. Okay, good. Eh, yeah, right. Yeah. Straight into here to make some uric acid. And that's going to need iron as well. Probably not a lot of it. Uh, water as well, okay. Sulfuric acid into batteries is what? I mean, don't don't feel shy about grabbing stuff you need for defense, like a flamethrower and... Well, actually, flamethrower is the best thing we have right now. I'll probably take you up on that one. Hey, I, did get a, I did get a construction ball. It didn't show it straight away, but apparently I did. Do you have modular armor then equipped in the bottom left? Uh, oh yeah, I do actually have a bunch of stuff. Yeah. That was nice of it. I did not expect that. Like you said, good at this mod. I love your mock my accent. As, as, uh, I, th I thought of all the people. I, I was thinking about it lately actually, it's like, the Scottish accent, I only use it when I'm mocking. Don't know how it comes to pass. Yeah, we we weird that, eh? <laughs> right. Batteries are uh, batteries are being produced, so that's one part of the flying robot frame. The only thing really needed now is electric engines. Ah, cack! I need lubricant. Um, oh well, I've sorted this out very badly, then, haven't I? Right, come on, mate. It's a lovely sound to hear. Oh God! <laughs> They're going nuts out there. Uh, so the flame, flame towers are still doing a good enough job of actually yeah. dealing with them all. So one of the things I like about flame is that it's always good. This is hideous. I'm breaking like every rule of playing Factorio here. that it is.
Okay, there we go. That's uh, kind of enough buffers set up, and lubricant is now being made. And lubricant is used in assembly machine to make electric engines. Do you plan to keep some of these uh, normal bullet turrets up here? Might as well. They at least attract enemy fire when they're um, when the enemy's dangerously close. Uh, they have been doing that. They are uh, mostly out in the uh, yeah. They they have they they serve no future purpose basically. Like if we dug them up, there's no there's no better use for them than what they're doing right now. Right, now I just need engines and green circuits, and we'll have the makings for flying robot frames. Not a lot of them, though, but some. <laughs> Every little helps. It really does. Why is this not powered at all? A... Oh, right, yeah. I'm actually powering the assembly machine that makes the all-important electric engines. Is there anything you desperately can't afford for me to take? Mm, not really. Everything should be fine. Unless you use up every damn green chip we have, because those are... <laughs> those are vital for defense right now. I have been making my own as I've been building the repair kits. Oops. How much Factory have you played? I, I remember seeing you in the MP years ago. Uh, not a ton, not a ton. It's not really a game that I fell in love with. I, it does interest me, interest me though, but uh, not a way where you've just n never ha really had enough time to properly sink into it. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a, that's a big time commitment to sink into this yeah. game, that's for yeah. sure. My backlog of stuff I have to uh, have to do is already absolutely huge. So losing half my life to a somewhat apparently addictive game uh, here uh, it might be not the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Well, I got construction bots automated, but they're no good if they don't have. Um... Ugh. They need roboports, which means we need red circuits. I'm trying to even remember how to do that. Uh, plastics are needed, so... Plastics, copper cable, and electronic circuits. And we need a butt-ton of these. Plastic is... Jeez, has plastic done? Chemical plant. Ten chemical plant. Uh... But okay, it's... isn't plastic just coal and... Um... Petroleum, yeah it is. Okay, that's kind of good, but all the petroleum's being gobbled up by batteries. <laughs> there, 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 is a, there is another oil field to the... Uh, yeah, it's it's not so much the oil, it's turning the oil into um, into goods that we need. Oh, you mean actual refining it? Yeah, yeah. How, how do you want to take a shot at doing that and I'll take care of the defences? Oh, I, I, I think we should. Uh, I, I, I kill things real good. Okay, uh, okay. I I build not so good. Okay, I will I will try to figure this one out. I've left myself no space to do this at all, so I should really actually sort that out properly. And I do not want to bother with uh, other parts here. Yeah, walls are getting shattered in the south. Yeah. I think. 
Or the south? Well, uh, south and think... north, everywhere, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh... When I was hovering by there, I did notice a lot of the uh, the stuff seems to not be moving either through lack of fuel or uh, I'm guessing some of the steel's filled up. Do you want me? Yeah. To oh, absolutely. To I just don't have time to be looking at that at the moment. That's fine. I reckon we'll have a wee bit of time before the next attack up here anyway. So it's every night and it's daybreak now. Yeah. If I can help you clear out this junk. Please don't trap me as I run past. <laughs> There's no time to think about things like that. Hey, Oops. what am I even looking at? Plastic. And this necessitates coal as well. Can't believe it, building belts for the first time in two hours. <laughs> hey, okay, good, I have a splitter. Output priority is actually going to be on plastic rather than buffer, but I don't think plastic's going to be that expensive. So, hotkey to automatically refuel as you're on past. I know that you want to take it, but. To refuel, I mean, uh, if you have coal in your hand, you control left click to dump a whole right. lot, control right click to dump half a batch in it. But we have a massive coal buffer, so just steal all of that and get uh, go ham with it. Oh, whoops, I didn't set this up right at all. There we go. Don't love coming here. Uh, right, rethink. Oops. If occasionally you just hear like shots going off, uh, it, it, it's just me. I keep on <laughs> space barring and shooting random objects. Oh, no. <laughs> Not to destroy them, just accidentally. There we go, plastic at long last. Uh, to say I'm a bit rusty would be a, a somewhat of an understatement. <laughs> oh, the south's looking not too bad. It's barely, barely scratched, considering I've not been down here at all. It's the power of the flamethrowers. They're just so damn good. They, they really are. It's just so rare. Normally, I find in games like flame flamethrowers are always just terrible, and like most normal kind of games. But this is that's a nice change. Only you could hear the screams of the biters. Time for red chips, although. Red chips are devilishly slow to make. Will you be wanting to switch a lot of that uh, iron plates and steel, etc., to uh, actual automated or? Yeah, eventually, but right now, like, everything is 100% put on, like, getting construction bots to keep repairing the walls and replacing the walls so that we never have to worry about that again. As soon as those defences can automatically be restored, then it's then a proper factory can be built. But I don't, I don't have the wherewithal to do both at once. I mean, I know I look like I'm God's gift to Factorio, but I'm a relative Yeah, that's new. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the, uh, the There Is No Spoon one was, was pretty damn impressive. Right, oh, crikey, I'm out of, out of green chips already. That means... <laughs> All this copper is just going away. I wish I had a proper bus set up, it would make grabbing what I need for this so much easier, but there was no time. You see, like, the moment medium biters came along, the original guns would not have held. 
I don't think, I think we're past medium as well now. As well. Yeah, we're in the uh, large biters. Yeah, there were some and, uh, big meaty boys chasing me down in the north there. I'm sure it'll be uh, behemoth biters soon enough. Right, crikey, plastic. Do you think you could expand on the um, copper smelting? See, uh, see the, see I... the copper thing. If you just, uh, if you just had like general copper and iron, I think you'd be able to make everything needed to expand that. Some stone as well. Uh, I could also kind of all meet into buses and have a wee bus port potentially. Oh, there's no time. I just, need, I just need like loads of copper to turn into more copper wire. You need it for the wire. Yeah, right. Give me a second. It's never a good sign. Right, we're very slowly getting some red chips going. Walls to the south are crumbling. Jake, wrong spacing on the belt. Wrong spacing on the. Oh, that's probably when I was doing uh, plastic. No time to think about that now. Right now, it is time for RoboPorts. Yeah, j just so you know, anything I make will look so bad it may make you feel sick. <laughs> like anyone, anyone with look, a, what, what I have already made stomach. is beyond horrors. Okay, at least it's daytime again. I might just be able to get some RoboPorts going at this rate. We're almost there. Good thing I made a bajillion steel for this. Okay, I <laughs> can get one going. And it's also going to need some storage chest for general goods. Gear wheels, of course. Alright, those red circuits are pummeling away now, which is great. They are the single most undervalued product in any factory, because you need them for everything, but they're slow to make. Do you have any mods on? asks Irex. I've got a few. It's mostly quality of life stuff. Uh, and some building stuff, like putting letters on the ground, having boats. That's mostly for the multiplayer, though. Uh, anything else? I've got a mod that turns the map into the real world map, which is awesome. Right, automated defenses are almost here. These poor walls just need to hold out a little longer. There should be good. Uh, I'm going to keep my own box, but I'll need to get them their own ones. It's almost evening time. We'll be fine. Something will be fine. These new bots will be finally cooked for one. Fueling work that needs uh, needs attention down here. Is that slow? Um... Keep losing my car. I'd be able to move around a whole lot faster if I'd had it on hand. Here we go. 
I'm worried at the idea that some gate has been destroyed as well. Uh, go, 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 go. There we go, automated defense. For one tiny part of the base. <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to give them um, about a thousand wall. Loads of repair packs. Actually, repair packs should be jammed straight into the machine. And I should have some gate. Better have some gate. There we go. A few precious bits of gate. And there we go. Right. You've seen the wall more recently than me. Is there any particular bit of wall that's just on its last legs? Or uh, really heavily north, pushed? Northwest is constantly. Like the very corner is constantly getting the harvest. Righto. I will get this south line done and then it's northwest o'clock. Oh, the south is looking good now. Yeah. Yep, 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 that's great. <laughs> Ignore that noise. Oh, that's your north. Oh god, they're through the northwest. Right, I'm on my way. Uh -oh. Ooh, right, so we cannot afford to this thing to break. Northwest. I'm on. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not as bad as it looks. Yeah, fish yeah, lips, you're, you're you're more than welcome to join in. Hang on, I didn't even tell you the password, young, and you knew it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a <laughs> I'm a hacker. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fishy, I've I've got a Discord thing open for chatting, and it's the usual password if you know it. If you don't know it, I'm sure Dark Young could DM you it. And yeah, we need hands here because this is insane to do solo. I think you're going to have uh, a flood of people coming in. It's just that no one could figure out the password. Well, that, that's kind of it, you know. I don't want to suddenly have 20 people taking part in this. It's going to take a bit of the thrill away. Uh, I don't know if Fishy's any good at this, but it seems like kind of Fishy's good, good at it. everything, right? He's, al he's always at Yay! least... Well, Except um, Mario, right? Yeah, uh, I was going to maybe... say. One game in particular comes to mind. As a as a standard, his uh, his baseline level of competency is very high, in my opinion. You wouldn't happen to have a butt ton of um, walls, would you? Uh, no, I had used all mine to triple up the uh, the north and western wall, which is sure. probably why it's still held. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to make a load more of them for the bots. A and I do have repair things for them, good. Holy smokes, there's not much left up here. <laughs> uh, oh, especially all this missing wall. Yeah, no kidding about the triple wall. Yeah, that must have been the last hat then. Right. Um, where in the world is my, there it is. Hey, fishy. Oh, that's not fishy at all, it's Voomer. Oh, also Voomer, yeah, Voomer uh, thingy as well. Yeah. Which I believe she is also pretty damn good at the game. Yeah, but Boomer is good at everything. Yeah, yeah, again. Legitimately right. good at everything. Although we've not seen their prowess at Mario. Have we? Hey. Don't, don't fall for it, Boomer. Don't hmm. listen to his sweet lies. <laughs> Promise is a good time, but it's not a good time, eh, Fishy? Right. So, got some walls, got some repair packs. No bots, though. Uh, screw it, here's like five bots. They'll very slowly go and fix everything, but we need more bots. Uh, good evening. Ah, good evening, Fishy. Good fish. That's the, oh, Christ, we're out of batteries. Out of everything. I haven't played Factorio in like two years. I don't have time for hearing things like that. <laughs> Fisher, Fisher, I just, I just begged you up, buddy. Can, can you, can you, can you, can you hey, I, I have, I have like one thousand two hundred hours in this game. Some things are just ingrained. Right. right? Well, if you want to warm up, forget. 
There's a lot of things that need refueling and collecting and shoved into buffer chests down at the main smelter area, if we can deign to call it that. And uh, I'm just starting to set up automated defences which are in need of their own loads of goodies. And we are dreadfully short on copper. I am currently trying to, uh, to fix the copper situation. Right, walls... Right, what I really need is more... More Constructo bots. Yeah, this isn't even 600% death world settings. If you ever see a destroyed gate, just throw a wall in its place. We don't make gates. Maybe someday, but not right now. In fact, don't worry, young. There will be a time where I'll want you with a flamethrower, just going out and torching enemy bases. Yeah, that's what I was expecting when I came in. Uh, but I can, I can make some monstrosities before I go out in the field. <laughs> There we go, it's a pathetically small amount of repair bots, but we're very slowly making them. Swap iron to electric or keep burner? Uh, I'm more than happy to swap out for electric. Consider this, everything is temporary, as long as the production gets replaced, it's fine to upgrade it. So if you look at my horrible oil setup, I would love to have it improved, but we still need to have oil and uh, plastics and whatnot coming out. What is what is getting destroyed? Oh crikey, that southern wall is just getting obliterated. We have Behemoth Biters. Big Viter has now entered. How in the world are we Behemoths already? Fishy, we need your help here, bud. Oh, I'm here. Uh, they've also cut off our... Oh god, they're in the base now. Right. Right, right, right. This is this is awful. Um, bay them off bugs, and they're breaking in. Everywhere. Okay. Where's our ammo? Do we have ammo production anyway? Nope, nope. Okay. I mean, ammo is not going to cut anything here. It's uh, a flame, flame defense, and if we can someday augment it with uh, laser defense, that's great. Power can easily be gotten just by uh, making more steam engines, but uh, I'm mostly just worried about how poorly our wall is holding here. Look at that! Bam! All biters already on day 24. Madness. Sheer madness. Um, and of course, they love to aggro on the oil supply. Still working on automating defences, but if anybody wants to start making a proper smelter arrangement and or bus, I'm all for it.
There we go. Dark Young with the power of belting copper wire. It looks so horrible. <laughs> it's, it's so inefficient. <laughs> but it's something, right? It's something. Well, if nothing else, just wham it away into some chests so that they can be grabbed. That, that's exactly what it's, what it's doing. Use them in the incredibly uh, hacked together manufacturing hub. I'm looking forward to getting this just uh, linked together, the automated defences. Yeah, this this ain't some exclusive party. If somebody's watching, going, "Oh, I bet I could help out." Oh, we're in need of help. I don't think I've ever taken. Oh, I heard you take to uh, begging for help quite so quickly as you have here. <laughs> I've been at this for a few hours. I just. Uh, I'm not. I'm not mocking. I'm not mocking. I'm just saying it's, it's an observation, <laughs> as it were. More than so it's funny how we can't tell the difference with you. <laughs> no, there is no spoon. At least one thing we do have is uh, 300,000 units of oil. Aberdeen's doing well. I'm sure that'll all come crashing down. I heard uh, one of the biters went in and won uh, Miss Aberdeen 2023. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only harsh because it's true. <laughs> Those red chips, which we need for automated defences, are probably doing okay. Uh, don't suppose anybody's sitting on a buttload of red chips? Uh, no. Okay. A lot of beep boops. Uh, yeah, that's uh, a lot of boops. Covering the northwest. Covering the northwest. It's okay. I mean, no, the the uh, the things are repairing the walls. It's just we need we need automated wall replacements. And the biggest, thickest wall you could imagine. So, uh, I don't know well, if anybody I'm wants to. It? I don't know if anybody wants to automate wall production. Actually, truth be told, there's not much I'm doing after I link up our defences, so I might see to that. But yeah, we want uh, a huge wall. I can do that. I'm up here anyway. Oh sweet. Yeah, just just making a decent setup for that stone that it all gets turned into wall and thrown into a. Um, a yellow chest, a yellow storage chest. Then the bots can just keep grabbing walls when they need them. Okay, two more of these. Uh, two more of these robo ports should do us, but what are we out of? Green chips? Because we're out of what exactly? Copper. Where, where are the uh, the red chips made? Um, just bottom right from where you are right now. We almost have enough. I just need a bit more copper and we're good. Or rather copper wire. Hey! Good thing we've got all that being chucked away. Just, just, just don't look at it. Just just look no. at the, the wire and nothing else, please. <laughs> we only need just like a single one of them. Yeah, that's all I needed. 
you and just a little more and we have fully automated the defense of the walls. Although we need replacement walls. Yeah. I'll, and I'll uh, if you see a gate and you have wall, just replace the gate with wall. Gates are too expensive to be making. The, the gates are also kind of bad. Every time I run past them, I'm letting some of them in. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Can't Must be the latency. Me. Yeah. We can't prove it was me, but I am 100% doing that. Oh boy. Now people were saying early on, oh get a main bus, get a proper smelty thing. If I hadn't put flamers up first priority, I don't think there'd be a base to be made here. Don't want to sound too defensive, but I could not foresee uh, should, making a factory should, and defending. What? Got him, still... got him, scale it up. Where is my car? I keep losing my bleeding car. Gotta scale it up. We need those walls yesterday, man. There we go. A beloved car. A fishy. Hello. Where are you? Where are you? Um, uh, by the stone. Okay, cool. Please put the stone into one of these inside the bot area so that they can access them. Uh, the walls, rather. Okay. That way the bots will all be able to just grab it. Is, is our power thing disconnected? That might have been me. I was pulling up some poles. Yeah. And other poles you pulled up are yeah, fine. Yeah, no, it seems fine now. I was just seeing some okay. of the um, robo ports were flashing at me. Not in a good way. There we go. There's a big inverted C shape of uh, automated defense throughout the base now. They just need access to tools and um, walls, and we should be able to stay relatively safe for a while. Out of uh, out of cog wheels now. love intermediate production. I always underestimated this in Factoria, but just having loads and loads of intermediates to hand speeds everything up. What's the difference between green and orange areas of the bot network? Um, green is construction and orange is logistical. Jesus. At least they're not really hitting us much on the east or west, but north and south are taking a royal pounding. Let's 
so I am strongly considering looking into landmines. It's only steel and explosives. Ah, oh, but we really have a terrible fluid system. I trust Sea Space is working on fixing the fluid system, so cheers. Uh, why? Why is iron going in the yellow chest? Um. Oh, that's good. Uh, yellow chest needs to be inside the orange area around the roboport, young. And we are flat out of RoboPorts. Oh, noise. What? Dennis Will says, I always thought landmines are awful. Actually, they're pretty cheap. And decent <laughs> defenses. They're really crap if you put them under flame turrets, but we have... Uh, uh, we have a mod for that. To it, so, it makes it... That's fine. It always bothers me that fire destroys bots and landmines, so I have a fireproof mod for that. Yeah. I had all kinds of weird logistic... Logistic setups for like um, only putting the bots into the network every 60 seconds or something so it used less bots up. Yeah. Like nonsense. Days we are just in the no chip zone. There air no, there's no air mines, Hoopa. Engines as usual. Oh no, I'm sitting on loads of engines. There we go, that should be another hundred robots or so on their way. Oh, that's good, young. That is good. to the southern walls. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to having a bus. We really need uh, proper chip production up. Running out of this, that, and the next thing. And in comes night time. Does anybody know how to get rid of the latency and measured and stuff that is up in the top right? Or do you guys even see that? Uh, I do see that. No, I don't know how to get rid of it. If anybody has a lot of walls, we need defense down in the very bottom here. 
Uh, got to hop on my walls. No, I think I put a main down right where I am because they're they're actually breaking through here and attacking. Not right now, but there's no wall to stop them. Who's stealing all my walls? The bots are. The bots are using them to repair the walls. Oh, so, so, so someone's someone's made a someone's made a little offshoot that's still in front. Oh no, man! I think it just puts that puts that a tiny bit quicker. Oh jeez, <laughs> they're breaking right through. We need walls down here on the double. Hey, them all and down. They're they're inside. Well, they're taking care of a roboport for some reason. A roboport got destroyed. Roboport. Oh crap! I think they're inside the bottom right. Oh, they're inside here. What incursion? Yeah, we we need bots down here on the double. Here's fishy. If that can be extra walled, all the better. Oh, ripes. I see the problem. Ah, uh, crap. We need a robo port. Told about gaps in the RoboPort coverage. I know. I really know. <laughs> and the problem is, we don't really have any RoboPorts. They're too expensive to make. But the main, the main problem is shortage of green chips. But, 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 my savior in copper-plated armor. This belt has made a shed load of the stuff. I'm going to turn it into chips. I mean, not a shed load, but a load. Hey, okay. Pipe connection, Jake. Oh, which pipe connection? <laughs> no, I can't be. Can't pay attention to all the missing bits and bobs here. But these attacks are getting relentless. Oh, nice. So I was uh, upgrading the furnaces to steel ones. They uh, really needed it for the walls. Yeah, steel is one thing we actually do have. All right, Roboport is re-established, but the fact that they broke in down here tells me that we need a lot more wall on the southern part, and potentially just more flamers even. Factory of days have never felt so short. Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone's feeding copper into the, uh, the uh, stones. It's because it's, it's mixed. It, it's sorting itself out, fixing it. That's what uh, splitters are for. Right, how's the wall situation? We've got loads of wall, I hope. Uh, we actually do. Should... Hundreds of wall. Literally. Yeah, they should, they should be. Now, that means I 
can all go and grab that. We have an unconnected bit of roboport here for some reason. So I connect it. There we go. Ooh. Right. Loads of steel. It all seems to be gone now. Yeah, I've got a bunch on me. I just uh, picked up so that it would uh, continue actually finging it because it would sure. all backed up. Uh, uh, you dump there's, it? there's buffer chests for materials right above the red thing. Yeah, we're looking right at them. Did you just shoot them? No. <laughs> you, you, can't, you, you can't prove that. <laughs> oh, here they come. Any chance of laser turrets, asks Jet. Oh, I'd love laser turrets. Screw it, I'm stealing some wall and I'm uh, tripling up the defense in the south. It's just too... too pathetic. Uh, I am also going to be doing that. That's had been grabbed. You can hop in my car. Uh... Enter usually, I think, or E, or there we go. The you have, e a, bu you have a bunch of stone it. on you, right? Uh, how much is a bunch? Like three hundred, maybe. <laughs> let's let's get you turned back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh crikey, there's not nearly enough here. Uh, they're making it as fast as they can. Mm. Yeah, I'll be uh, the the kind of. The, the slow part is the actual getting the bricks. Why the hell is there <laughs> copper on the line? I, I did see, I did, I've already tried to clear it. I think someone may have added another one. Um, no, no. There should be copper goes to the end and then it gets filled up. That's, it doesn't work that way though because the stone is... Um... The stone is starting to kind of right. back up a bit. Oh, because it gets picked out of the right. There we go. Now I'm now I'm making sure that stone only goes on the right yeah, yeah, yeah. and copper right. only on the left. See, this this is two years of not having played. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. Get this crap off me. Uh, young, we still need to do the the bottom bottom place. You have some uh, some wall, right? Just grab whatever you can. And let's go. Just, just shy of 300 now. 240. Yeah, so, if, you round, if you round up and you're very generous. <laughs> An insert joke about Scottish mass here. I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right. I'm not, not going to lie, you absolutely terrify me when you're driving past me. There's, <laughs> a, there's a fear that's inside me every time you're in this car near me. It could be worse. We could have Canadians. Right, so you want to say four up? Or three up for now. I don't think we can afford to four up right. the wall. Right. So this is all but fine. Three, three should stop them sufficiently to get them ignited. At least it's nice and quick to walk in this concrete. I don't think this side has been that bad, right? Mm, no, but also to... sometimes. Well, generally, if it's double wall, if it's single walled. It's generally fine, because we'd hear about it if we were having single wall problems. But yeah, look at the amount of them that's made it into the base. Yeah, I'm just gonna any... terrifying. Yeah, just gonna go until, until there stops being large bodies of them. <laughs> uh, I think... <laughs> <laughs> it keeps it keeps going. Oh god! Actually, I'm gonna add some more uh, more flamers. Can you grab the car and come pick me up and take me back? Uh, you asked for this, that's all I'm going to yeah. say. Just, <laughs> just, just, just going to get myself... <laughs> Don't have to tear down that tree now. Alright, here we go. Oh, you're driving? Maybe. No, you're driving. 
Oh god, where are we going? <laughs> uh, back to where you picked me up. Oh, whoa, look at all those walls. Wow, there's a lot of walls for them here. But I suppose that's fine. Right, so automated defenses should be alright. We just need to enhance the wall whilst continuing to make this... Uh, continuing to increase production. I'm getting rid of all the gun turrets because they are just surplus to requirement now. Right, there you go, there's a car back. Cheers. Oh, I see you just got rid of the the mixed um, oh, yeah. the mixed s stone and copper thing. For now, yeah. For now. And uh, no, no, I do not pizza. Right, I am going to up the amount of flamers in the uh, the top line. Oh jeez, it's almost night time already. It seems super quick. If anybody in chat knows how to get rid of this latency thing in the top left, I would love to hear it because it's really getting in the way of important information. Press F4, it's probably in the debug menu. Ooh. Thank you. Easy, easy fix. And not where I expected it. I don't think I've ever been in a base that's alive but hearing so many of these destruction noises. Perfectly balanced, that's that's all that shows. Uh how do you type messages? Is it Okay, there we go. Terrifying. <laughs> it was good practice for the weekend, at least. Very good practice for it. I was kind of rusty. I still am. <laughs> Where's that, like, the past I've, tense here? Yeah, I've suddenly got really good now. <laughs> <laughs> After belting that copper wire, I'm a new man. Oh, that good, is... you're doubling up the walls there. Yeah, Sweet. there is no escape from the base. We, we don't need to go out these gates. There's no. only sadness out there. No, I went out there and it wasn't the best idea. Yeah. And then I'll just put the rest to uh, four and up here. Hmm. Uh, these parts of the walls don't seem to be getting repaired. Which parts? The northwest. Or is it, if they are, it's just really slow. They are just barely outside of the um, the range of the RoboPort. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we can't really move that RoboPort. The RoboPort looks like it extends out by... Jeez, it's hard to see properly, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, it extends out for a three-thick wall, but not a four-one. So the fourth ones will oh. never get repaired. So I'd extend so the wall in one instead of out one. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to always make sure that walls are built where there's Roboport coverage or else they'll only just break for good. And never get replaced. Besides, three thick walls should keep us safe from... Well, if we can't kill them with three thick wall, 
we need to up offense rather than defense. Speaking of, I've still got a bunch of flamers, so I am just going flame crazy. Believe it or not, we're still holding steady on the crude oil. But we would have burnt through a lot of it by now. I don't know how to increase wall production. Limited by number of miners on stone. Yeah, um... We just need more stone. Honestly, the wall production's fine, right? Like we could, it's... we could probably wall that stone thing over there. Use I was some thinking flame that myself. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build, build an outpost there. But yeah, I won't have miners. Right. I'm just gonna have I a have defense. The biters seem to only aggro on the base, after all. They haven't touched Aberdeen. Where are all, where are all the excess uh, guns? Guns? Which, which yeah. kind of guns? Uh, turrets. Um, they'll be in a chest. They're in the top left storage test uh, chest, so northwest. We don't really have any proper logistics sorting stuff going on at all. But I went and took t took down all the gun turrets because they're not useful anymore. They do zero damage to those bear moths. Yeah, I can't believe we're actually getting hamstrung on wall production, but I do think we need that uh, outpost. Don't be afraid to tear down some temporary stuff. Like, all the stuff I built at the start was purely to, um, to get defenses up. Things like that god-awful copper production that I have. Hey, young. Hey, fishy. Howdy. Hello. Uh, crap. I thought I... Oh, I do have pipes. Right. Okay. Probably just go straight hey, north from here, to be honest. Oh, it's fine. Why don't we just, like, there. bring off this entire try, area? Try and, oh. try and wall it off with that as best you can. Yeah. I've got a ton of walls on me. I grabbed a set before I left. Good stuff. I think I'm I... just going to go cut straight north, because it's straight lines are just simpler. I'm going to take... Oh, I would agree with that. Okay. Because we could do the same at the, uh, the south as well, towards Aberdeen, and uh, that would give us the copper completely safe as well. And yeah. it would also mean an entire wall of our uh, defences could be... Yeah, straight line walls yep. are good. Yeah. Oh, so we do <laughs> we're... I don't now. think we should be using trains at all right now. We do not have the... Um... We don't have the anything for doing that, really. To be honest, we can just power it back every now and then, just go grab a load at this stage. Oh, box. I hope that's just wall falling. Wall and construction bots. What are you like? There we go. <laughs> that's crazy, the amount of... Uh... Walls breaking. But it's, uh, it's all just north and south, which is reassuring. for an offense, although, yeah, that was a waste of time, because you already have oil over there. Never mind, mate. We appreciate the effort. Someone has to. Day 30. I think you're meant to have this game beaten in, like, 20 days or so. You still have your bots on you, young, because you can deconstruct a lot faster with bots. 
I could never in my life use the bots. Okay, so in the bottom right you have deconstruction Just, just go fishy your bots then, because um, I mean, fishy should have weird. modular armor as well. Yeah, click on the red thing and drag over stuff and you'll destroy things. That could not be any simpler. Oh, that saves us a lot of wall. Ooh, yeah, nice. I'm pulling yeah. up the um, the flame turrets to recycle them. Uh, yeah. could we could we get the the bottom wall up before the uh, destruction of the existing wall though? I thought the wall was already gone. Ah. That's what we need the wall for. The, uh, the uh, micro on the north part. Is fine. Yeah, pull a couple so I can actually fortify the top because there's just no, no turrets for that currently. You can recycle plenty of the. Uh, Words. Yeah, you can recycle plenty of the um, pipes and the flamethrowers along the way. Mind we've already to put up the uh, uh, what are they called again words. Uh, the, okay. the bot places. Yeah, for, uh, they need to be connected as one big thing, though. Um, and we need an up and downy bit. So you could tear away like the the right four of them, put two over on the left, and then oh, Christ. We need we need more of them basically. And do we use four? They need red chips and steel and other crap like that. Can you take care of the, the, the woods here, please, fish? I put all my bots into um Oh right, great. Bots can take down trees. Yeah, very fast. Nom 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 nom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen for the hell of it. I imagine this corner won't be that dan in danger, but why would why would you say that? It's just tempting fate. <laughs> I'm not scared of fate. I'm scared of loads and loads of behemoth biters, though. Are you not getting away from? Oh, nicely done, fish. Oh, look at him go! Where'd you get all those uh, flamethrowers? Oh, I uh, I uh, stole them. <laughs> no underground the pipes, though. Uh, this forest as well, please. We have no need for these. These trees. Inside the northeast right. wall now. Cost That'll cause annoying bot death. Oh yeah, good point. Um, we're gonna we get horrible go bot. We need a segregated area here for the bot network to fix. Otherwise, the bots are gonna fly over bot um, biter area. So where we yeah. stand right now, fishy, we need a disconnected. Um, I'd say two robo ports. Yeah, if we get the robo ports. Ink. Well, I'm no longer working with red chips and things. Okay. Ooh, it isn't moving here. Why? It's not. Some of the undergrounds are missing. Making them now. Which ones? Ah, there. I've got loads of undergrounds. There we go. Oh, and let's keep these very important chests away from biter spit. Why? Okay, I've run out of flamers. Go uh, steal some. You're really quiet in time for a new night. Beep boops. Yeah. I think only lasers could reasonably stop that because there's this inertia of uh, flame that takes a while to uh, actually start roasting the biters. I mean, this is fine as long as we keep producing walls, uh, fix packs, and construction bots, but we're not creating construction bots. We need a proper bus sorted out. And... 
we will eventually need more iron. We haven't even seen another iron patch. Okay. <laughs> chest of copper doing here. Uh, right. Will the uh, attacks be done now? The attack should be over for the night, yeah. Right. Hopefully that didn't just destroy everything. <laughs> no, I think we held. We held all right. Uh, I was moving the uh, the oil to see how it comes in from Aberdeen. Uh huh. Uh, oh, you're it making so sure. There's... Yeah, yeah, Lace yeah. Lace of it's in front of the uh, the possible... In fact, with uh, a bit of underground piping, you could get across the water and then it's not outside the wall at all. Mm. Oh, Christ, there is no defence on that line, is there? Uh, I've still got some flamers. I'll flame up the area there. We... Do we have landfill in this? Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. Very expensive on the stone though. And we like you don't even need to landfill that, just an underground pipe will clear that. It's just a little bit short. Okay. I'm coming down to put up some defenses uh, though. Uh, no, I'm just a little bit short. Uh fish, what are you up to? I'm just fiddling with some walls. Is it possible you could start, a, or someone start in a proper main bus so we can start producing things properly? We have, um, I think we have most of it going, yeah, we could do that. There we go. It's uh, completely over the water now. Well. Or under the water. Uh, also swell. God, I'm glad I made a million of these flame turrets. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get power across that gra uh, gap as well. Here we go. Uh, there. Oh, you've you're much longer arms than I do. Can you can you uh, <laughs> can you disassemble this thing? Uh, what thing? The uh, big one. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Bot takes care of that. And that's everything set up here. Although. I can finally give oh. it a wall because I've been. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that on stream. I'm like, is that, is that him using? Yeah, the alpha bonuses? oven oven wall technique. It's. I think it's pretty good. Some people like pipe wall. I prefer oven wall. There we go. Let's get extra cheeky if we ever want to just walk through. There we go. If you ever want to just let the biters in. Which would you have? <laughs> uh, this wall is all just like a little bit too far forward though that was just a rough one to keep me alive while I was uh, fine I'll take the bottom where will you build then yeah oh time for another attack oh shoot I didn't actually put the flamers in I just put ghosts yeah, uh, all you need is a turret, so I've got the uh, most of the pipes down. Give me a second, I'll finish them. Ruby. It'd be oh, fine yeah. if I still had my bots, but I threw all my bots into the network. And I regret it, but need those bots. Oh, God bless Aberdeen keeping this oil flowing. Never been so happy for the Granite City. No, no one's ever been grateful to, to Aberdeen. <laughs> you know, I, I was actually 
I was wondering, you know, what do other people think of Aberdeen? So I started looking up YouTube videos, like everything about oh. Aberdeen. Oh. And now I'm That's getting these recommendations of like <laughs> all the good things about Aberdeen. And it's just people oh. making videos about how great Aberdeen is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the same actually. There was not that long ago where I where I, I tried to look up like the same. I was looking for right. Surely there's something good about Aberdeen, and I and I did the same. I, I had a wee look. Oh, I get get spat on. Uh, and ever since then, I I get like for a full month just a torrent of the exact same. Just hey, Aberdeen's pretty cool. You should you should come here. It's like, no, no, the lies. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Although, I mean, it's probably still an improvement over where, where I live. But... Yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to say I was looking up, is Ayrshire any good videos? But no, no, it was Aberdeen. <laughs> I, I know better. <laughs> <laughs> that is paid content if you hear stuff about how good Ayrshire is. Yeah. Couldn't be me enough. More chips. More everything. What are you doing with the red chips, Fishy? A uh, couple of rubber ports to the north, which is completely undefended. Well, with, well, it's got flamers. Might flamers, do, yeah, might do with a um, might do with a radar. Oh my I god! I do. Uh, why is power satisfaction so low? Uh, because we don't have enough power. Oh Jesus! Yeah, yeah, we yeah, need. We're, uh, we're still we need coasting to up... on plenty of coal. We need to up a bit quick. I will. I will do that then. I'll take care of that. Uh, I like you like where this bus is, Seaspace. Is it not really good? <laughs> nice smelter it's setup. Exactly where you wanted to be. Goodness, we started out with a decent amount of coal. It's 20 boilers to one offshore pipe, or is it 10? Let's check the cheat sheet. One offshore pipe to how many boilers? 1 to 20 to 40. Sweet, thank you. Is there anything else we need these uh, like, uh, green circuits for? Everything. All the things. Like green green circuits, you never have enough of them. Uh, specifically, they're being made to make red circuits so that we can get automated defense, but we've largely taken care of that now. Flung some in to make more uh, robot fly dudes. Yeah, yeah, we need those as well. If you find spare robot fly dudes, like, pick them up and just shove them into the nearest... Um, uh, Roboport. Because we are short on those dudes. I think. There are 89 in the network, and they're pretty much always working. That's what they're there for, anyway. Plastic bar. Uh... Was that imagining the plastic bar being over the west? No, oh, there is it. Just trying to keep all the stuff that we're uh, loading in actually loaded. One day we may be able to uh, even automate it. That's that's silly. Never mind. That's why I'm dreaming of having a proper main bus so we can just go. Oh, <laughs> belts or pipes. Oh, yeah, I'll just grab those off of the buffers from the main bus. That's doubled up the power production, but even that, we're, we're straining the production of it. We can make modules for what it's worth, but we don't have that kind of luxury. It's just, it's better to make more power. In fact, I am I'm actually going to quadruple up the power rather than double it. No, no good reason I can think of not to. More is always better, right? Yeah. Chumra says, I think we should go for... Why do people... 
there's a certain sect of factorial players who are always just like, yeah, just use trains, bro. It's like there, there's nothing about this setup that is train friendly right now. If you had tried to go for trains at the beginning, I don't, I don't think we would all be here right now. Far from it. We would be bite our, bite our tods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where is our coal going? Are we still collecting plenty of? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. I hope we are, because I set up the world's biggest buffer for that. That's a uh, that's a that's a big buffer. I'll just go coal everything that's uh, hand loaded for now. Damn, I really want some freaking robots. I think we have enough wall now. We're up to two thousand. So good. good, but that um, what you could do is go. So I'll tell you what. I'll just I'll just do it. Uh, maybe after the attack, I'm gonna make sure that we're triple thick all the way around, just in case they start going for our mega weak spots. I can do that now. Ah, but I was just gonna ghost it rather than do it ourselves. We can make the bots do it. Oh, true, true. But only during daytime. Nighttime is too dangerous. I was thinking to myself. Oil refining. I keep on thinking to myself, what's that little beeping sound mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they took out a flamethrower. Like oh, that's bad. Eh, that is bad. I'm gonna start putting flamethrowers into the um, into the yellow chest so they can replace those. Same with some pipes and undergrounds. There we go. Pains me to let them have those, but needs must. Uh, Mittens, it's a little bit uh, brazen to have red and blue belt production ever. Oh God, no! We are we are not in a productive position for <laughs> Wait, red. No, I mean, no. we barely belt no. anything to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> we we just need to get just need to stay alive for now. We can do you know gold plating later. There's going to be a little bit of a power outage, not big though. If I can find where all my boilers are. God, I, I went near your thing, it's stealing all my, all, all my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, we're, we're, we're helping, are we? No! no. Damn. Oh, there's, some, there's some pipe. Damn, I made a shit offloading pump instead of an actual pump. There you Jeez, you know it's bad when you're out of these crappy electric poles.
I'm not sure someone else has said, but the des the nests do not appear to be respawning. Yeah, I'm liking that. It'd be a nice incentive to go out and kill some more, but uh, that would require being able to handle big um, big biter. Big biter is not our best friend. Yeah, what are you working on over there, young? Uh, nothing much, just a uh, pipe. Just, just a little manual manual pipe. Okay. Just so that there's always some. Oh, nice boss! Great use of the um, of the letters on the floor there. I assume it was Boomer, who I also assume is Mittens. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can bust um It'd be interesting to see someone else's take on a bus. I don't want to make my own because I always see my own. Oh, I'm thoroughly enjoying the Zen playthrough this time, says Sophie Brit. No. There's nothing zen about this. Nothing zen about this at all. I think between us all we've got it pretty handled. Mm hmm. I would have been dead on the water a while back without uh, without your help, though. As dead as those walls. <laughs> I wonder if we're running out of repair. Oh god, they're breaking through in the top left. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually have any repair packs left for the bots. And we don't have it automated. Oh, okay. Well, that's the problem. Because they require cogs and green chips. Which we also don't have automated. Yeah, I'd find a nice stack of 500 green chips and just make some Yeah, somewhere. we chew our way through these things like crazy, though. Yeah, we've actually stopped consuming repair packs, because I think we're out of them. Alright, there we go. Power should be a nice, cool lot. Still not done. It's quite nice to be able to build without caring about pollution, though. Lasers would be a great help. And to be fair, we ha we do have fluid handling, so we could actually get started on lasers if we wanted, but they're expensive in a lot of ways, including f uh, power. You cranking out those uh, repair packs, Fishy? Yep. Cheers. Just doing it by hand for now, just to get some in there. Yeah, because currently there's a lot of repair that's not happening. Are we sure we have loads of... Yeah, yeah, we do have loads of um, walls. We just don't have enough bots for them. Bots have to work extra hard during the daytime. Need engines. Need engines badly.
But in our defense, we have them. No fuel in wall furnaces. Ah, oh, cheers. Another thing that would be great to take off the bus in due time. Our, uh, our fluid handling is incredibly pathetic. Also, on top of the iron, which is quite funny. It's barely not, actually. <laughs> I think you'll find I built it keeping clean of that iron. Right, 20 or so more bots on the way. Um, them. Yeah, it's just nice to have a lot of iron that we can throw into something at a moment's notice. Yeah. I got two Roboports, and I don't really know where to put them. I don't think we need them right now. Oh, hey, the center very, is... very southeast. Yeah. The center could do. Do we ever get attacked? Oh, we do! Right. Oh, Christ, right, I'm on it. I was like, we even get attacked there? Yes, yes, we do. If you feel particularly daring, Fishy, you could just pull some goods off the bus and then have them insert into a roboport so that they always have access to repair things. Yeah, this is a little bit... It actually comes out a little bit further than this if we get attacked, but I repaired it earlier. But rather a repair. Yeah, well, we, we gotta automate everything on the perimeter. I'm short one... Um, one Roboport. How the hell are you meant to do this solo? Maybe with trains. Maybe these uh, Factorio weirdos yeah, are yeah. onto something. <laughs> Just trains. Yeah. Just a wall, a wall of trains. Well, like, actually, you could have that. You could have a, you could have a train that just constantly goes around. Two of them even, around the outside, and they would just constantly run over any biters that come their way. You know, that, do you not need to fuel them though? Hmm. Uh, they could have a, a few uh, storage a fueling station along the way. I suppose they also only attack at night time, right? So it's not like you would have to have them yeah, on yeah, yeah. So the train train just stops in the morning and then revs up for a revs up for a good old session of biter mashing in the <laughs> evening. I've got we're, we're justifying the train nerds now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got to throw them a bone every now and then. As soon as it's daytime, I'm wiping out all mm. these blasted trees. Are you falling asleep there, Fishy? No, I'm just stretching. My okay. Heart. Don't worry, all that da ding da ding noise will wake you right up. It's the sound of, oh god, something needs replacing again. Mm hmm. To be fair, if we did go out and clear some of those biter nests, we'd get upgrades for our power, but I don't generally see upping flamer power as a huge return of investment. Yeah, it's the it's lasers. It's the lag time between when they shoot and when the biter hits. Yeah. I find lasers are amazing for taking out the um, the behemoths because they don't tend to get um, they don't get burned fast enough. Everything else gets burned really fast, but the behemoths just have so much health, they laugh it off. Jesus, they are nibbling through that like it's not even there. Are the gears produced? Yeah, we don't really have bust gears yet, although I hope we do someday. We cannot move the uh, rocket silo, by the way, in case you're worried about that and the, and the bus. I wonder if we should just go out and start burning down some... Um... I'm just about to get prepared to go out and start trying to kill some stuff. Do you have some flamethrower ammo? Uh, not yet, no. 
Hang on, I'll, I'll bung you some over here. Wooden chest, just above where the red chips are made, there's a hundred for you there. You know, good man. In fact, there's also some health potions for you. Not true what they say about you, Jake. Do you go, wait, wait, wait. What do they say and who's <laughs> they? It's, it's best not to ask these sort yeah, of questions. Okay. Oh. Right, right here, the wooden chest. Alright, over here. Just. There are some schools of thought that think you can just make cogs when you need to, with any recipe that needs cogs because it needs iron plates as well. Is that really true? Yeah, you just bust um, plates in and then do cogs. Well, no, no, the, the part like that any money. recipe that needs cogs needs iron plates too. Well, straight away a combat shotgun doesn't, although that's not exactly something you'll make on the bus. Repair packs don't need uh, iron plates. Um, Roboports don't need iron plates. Uh, I don't buy your your argument there, Snapper. It's good to belt copper. Co uh, it's good to belt the cogs because they are twice as dense as iron plates in terms of space they take up on the bus. What, this much weapons again? Maybe it's true for Tab. science. Maybe all science materials only require both. Well, science isn't a concern. We can't even no, produce exactly. science if we wanted to here. It's not available. Exactly. Okay, good. We've got over 100 bots in the system. I don't know how many uh, repair packs they have. Ooh, actually, we can uh, check. A couple can't hundred. We? Last time 331, I that's good. But, I mean, we need thousands, not hundreds. in the wall with it, where I can get through that isn't going to like... You can just remove it and shoes. put it back. Just, just delete a, um, some gates and put a straight gate through. Or just delete it and put it back on your way back. That's what I'd do. What's that <laughs> on my way back, Jake. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like, find Behemoth, they're going to rip you apart, you know. Like, like, I, I have... I really have no intention of returning if I okay. like if I have if I have to go down swinging, I might I might get down swinging. <laughs> <laughs> well you can always get your materials off your dead body later on. I'm flinging everything there, uh, with the exception of like the stuff I actually need in a box anyway. Yeah, I'd do that if I were you. Specifically if I were you. <laughs> You know, I think I'll wait until I think I'll wait until morning. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling a bit of a snooze coming on. Uh, yeah, give, give, give me a second. I, I need to go for something anyway. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Hope he's not standing next to the wall. It's gonna be dark. Young died again. There we go. I actually think we should quad wall. 
In fact, I'm going to give that order come morning time. Take a look at the top left. There's a dead... There are two dead behemoth... Oh, and there's another behemoth. Oh. And a... Oh. Is that a dead flamer? No, it's not. In fact, I think we might even want five level walls. It's just that bad. You could probably just have, like, the outer wall and then an inner wall just on the corner for the turrets. To catch uh, the big ones that come in. Not buying it. I'm just going to ultra wall up there. Because if you put it further away, it takes... Yeah, I'm not putting it further away. I'm bringing it in. Right. We have the walls, so we might as well put them to use. We do have the walls. Even down down south is feeling the burn. And it's already one, two, three, four walls at the bottom. But they're not breaking through four walls, which is nice. <laughs> the the beginning of the red circuit production, lovely. Um, could you automate the uh, repair packs here? I mean, there's already greens oh, and they're already uh, automated. They are oh, fantastic. Do they get inserted straight into? Actually, into where do they where do they go? Provider test. Oh, sweet. That's good news. On the bus. In fact, let's limit that. So. Much obliged. Left my car behind as usual. Someone clearly didn't want me to leave. They had uh, bogged up my exit. <laughs> I set the bots to just go and build loads of walls. Gate is every bit as strong as wall. I was wondering that for a moment. And... Some of these poor bots. They have to go so far and can barely, barely move. Yeah, we've already increased fire damage there, fish, quite a bit. Base damage, 13 per second, plus 20. So we have more than 100% boost. In fact, we can see it here. E there we go. 60% and stacks with the ammo bonus, which is already 60%. So, big bonus on these guys. Huzzah. I'm, uh, I'm bringing friends. <laughs> oh, no. Friend, uh, he's, uh, he's not very friendly, though. Oh, I see you uh, bravely took down four worms before you ran back. It was a freaking behemoth. Mm. Chin. And I got him. I'm still alive. I'm still standing. <laughs> it's you pissing after a vindaloo at them. <laughs> Short controlled bursts, young. Short controlled bursts. That ammo's expensive. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Those 
bots have real jobs to do. I mean, that's, that's, I've already destroyed what? A base and a half. Okay. Without dying, which is the, uh... Uh, oh, right, that's your gun turrets. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. A little worried that overall the, the oil we have is trending down, not up. Really? Do we have a better access to oil? We've, we've no, backed we up. Oh, right, right, we have it we over have to the left. We have an enormous backup. Yeah, we'll have to go out and reach for it eventually, though. That'll take hours to burn through this way. Yeah, good. Oh, they went from a gate. It's because you invited them through the gates. I didn't. They went for the gates. They went through. They're knocking at the door. They're like, hey, hey, buddy. <laughs> Can I interest that, you in Biter hey, Jesus? <laughs> the production of bots is terrible. Well, we got 171 of them, so that's got to count for something. Right. We really need an oil production that doesn't blow hard. Yeah. I, I, I don't mean that. base oil, I mean like the, the oil processing. Because it's currently yeah, on just you... basic stuff. Just need a, a big oil stack. Yeah. I'll just do that. Mm, I think I'll get to work on it. I, I quite like uh, fluid handling. Okay. That means we're going to stop production of lube and things like that. But I don't think I don't see that as a big deal. Just back it up a little bit. Uh, that means goodbye plastics for a wee while. Hope you don't mind. They're just back, backed up on buffers. Yeah, there. there's loads of buffered stuff. Don't worry, I'll have that stuff reproduced uh, before you know it. Pumps needed engines. You shame your engineering ancestors, Jake. Yeah, sure. Processing, oil processing. Since we're probably going to tap this massive amount over here, I've got no problem still doing it over here. But. How about up here? <laughs> so it can be blown apart when the biters make their way through. Did we mean to stop the coal buffer? Um, it's still good to keep a coal buffer. Do a, yeah, rebuild the coal buffer somewhere. It doesn't really matter where, just as long as we buffer it up. Always good to have buffers.
It's actually quite nice building these things whilst already having, having access to bots. Normally, you don't. Yeah. Quickly copy paste is yeah, amazing. Yeah, just make something and then go boopity boop. And then boopity boopity boop. Not only that, but they're, they're decent bots. They're not the crappy starting level bot speeds and things you normally have. Right, what time do they attack? Night time. Soon. Uh, I'm on my way back. <laughs> I am a little curious where they come from, though. I just spawned from the bases. Yeah, well, they must oh, be coming from enough. bases that are fairly far away now. Far away. I went and did this nowhere near any water. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they must be coming from the bases because the 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 area that I've cleared is completely empty right now. Well, tons everything of, else has been hacked. Tons of bots are dying though. That bothers me. And we don't have good bot production. They're not particularly expensive to make bots. It just requires a little bit of uh, fernickety stuff. Is it possible to? No, never mind. That's too complicated. Okay, I won't mind. Ease they're tearing through. So the points that I'm getting for killing these things, uh, what do they get used on? Do you see an upgrades button in the top left? Oh yeah, can I use that? I suppose you could. Might not be a great idea, but you can. The only thing that's really good to us at the moment is mining productivity and flame damage, since those are the things we use. But they get incrementally more expensive. Into flame, and then I'll put it into mining. Let's just say, having I, I don't know if it affects this flamer, or is it the yeah, base yeah, flamer? both both kinds of flamers: your hand flamer and the uh, base defense flamers. Then it, uh, let's just say it's advantageous mm. for me to keep upgrading that. Then okay, I'll believe <laughs> you. There we I mean, go. I don't know about you, but the, the north side looks a hell of a lot clearer than it did before. <laughs> I think this might be overdoing it with this. Um... Oh, that plastic's going to hold for forever. Almost like someone very cleverly out. set up basic plastic production right at the start. There was a, the, there should be a bunch of plastic in the, uh, see, see the center area where you dumped a lot of the uh, extra stuff. Uh -huh. I, put, I put like multiple thousands and the boxes there to keep them working. Someday we'll have the safety and sanctity of being able to or, uh, organize our stuff. 
Maybe. That sounds like a pipe dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I too dream of pipes. Oh, there is pipes. Uh, they should be in the east. Not a lot, but uh, there was some, some put down before I came out into the uh, wild, wild west. What world is our water? Fish, you see the water pipe next to you? Why is it not flowing with any water? Uh, good question. That looks connected. It's connected oh, to me. Are these a ghost? They look pretty corporal to me. Oh, it's zero. It doesn't have any at the base. That's why. It's, it has water in it. It just has trace amount of water. So yeah, but like there's this... a pump right at the end of it. But it must not be connected. Where? Oh, I see now. I see it all now. There was a corner piece which was actually an underground pipe rather than a regular pipe. And our good old bots are taking care of that. Blunk. And now let there be yeah. oil products. I can hear whoosh, whoosh, whoosh of the pipe. Yeah. They're, they do really good water sounds in this game. Okay, what do we want to do with all this uh, petroleum and oil? You could convert the... Um, oh, I suppose converting the wall over to light would be a, probably a pain trying to pump out all the oil. Yeah, no, no. It's, you could. I don't see the utility in using light oil for defense. Jeez, because that's poor bots. The bots are getting massacred. We're actually at the point where we really need to uh, produce bots to replace the dead. Uh, is that down in the southwest? Yes. Right, I, I can switch around and go and clear out some of that if it's been hit that hard. It is being hit that hard. Uh, do you have any more flamer fuel? Uh, no. Well, I do. Uh, where are you? Where are they? Up the north. And I'll just come to you and dump it for you. I'm heading down that way anyway. I've got the beeping. <laughs> <laughs> the the movement just gets faster. Uh, there you go, take all that. Are you good on Perfect. fish? Uh, oh yeah, I bet I really need to go scratch. They, they never get near me. Because <laughs> <It was all laughs> he bravely runs away. No, the the flame, the, the wall of flame, it's, it's a bit hard to chase people through that. Mm -hmm. I say wall of flame, it's like you, you, you pedal every attack like a tiny bit in front of you. 200 walls. <laughs> Take the repair packs away from the bots, only let them replace destroyed structures. Saves the bots since they'll fly out less and walls are cheap. Mm, I hadn't thought of that. Those are very cheap. Where are these? But we still want them to be able to repair damage to the um, to the flamethrower turrets, and those are significantly less cheap to replace. I think it's better just to set up a good production of bots so that we don't need to worry about that. Speaking of, I should get on that. Oh, which does mean taking my bastardized production here and turning it into something real. Uh, actually, I think we should push towards actually beating this, since it's already 10 o'clock, and there'll be a proper factorio for this kind of base building not too long from now. So we just launch a rocket to do that? Yeah. Although that okay. does require a lot of advanced goods, but I'm going to get to work on the 
um, the rocket fuel for that. Is the starting iron enough for that? There's. Uh, yeah, because we don't have to do any science, and that's what eats a lot of uh, eats most of your resources. Oh, true. Right. Not a concern. Fuels made in assembly machines, aha. You know. The two seconds for some solid fuel, five seconds to make, no, twenty seconds to make, um, Ten of them. Yeah, might as well be one to one, especially since these are oh, they are slower. slow and <laughs> we need a thousand of these if only we had modules actually I can speed that up congratulations digital drifter actually using their points on a points dump People around here are just points paupers and can never do that. Oh, good. Mining productivity is always useful. Yep. Um, the attacks to the southwestern corner should be a lot less. Yeah, they, they spawn at the uh, the bases. Uh, let's just say I'm bringing home some... I'm actually chasing <laughs> home some friends. Yeah, oh. I don't know. I don't know. That's not how I'm seeing it. <laughs> Your big green friend there, I saw. Yeah, what what one? <laughs> <laughs> you, you see nothing there. You see nothing. Yeah, oh, that's good. So I've got over half the fish you sent me with. That's concerning. But that I've not been getting eaten. Yeah, sure. You don't need a tank, snapper fish. I am the tank. Oh, let's not switch to assault rifle while we'll I go do this. There we go, we've automated the um, rocket fuel that we need for the, the launch. To a degree. Uh, 
the hell with perfect ratios. I wonder how likely is Jake's ticket off this rock is stolen. There's a big rocket, right? There's enough room for all yeah. of us. I'm sure there's plenty. It's not like RimWorld where you have to make enough caskets for everyone. People getting flashbacks to Left for Dutch. <laughs> There we go. Heavy oil cracked down into light oil, manufactured into a... Ooh, wow, we've already got a fair few of them. Manufactured into rocket fuel. This stuff must be getting expensive by now. Yeah. It's probably cheaper and easier then to get that stuff upgraded than to keep working on science. Imagine if you had... Um, train artillery going out and killing all those bases. Oh, down to the lie. shotgun, are we? I mean, I've, I've, got, I've got a little bit left, but I... Let's just say I could use some. Well, I don't have any more for you. Um, but if you just take some steel, you can, uh, you can make some... straight off the oil. I mean, it's not like it's not paying for itself with all the uh, the upgrades anyway. Sure. I do have a bunch of steel. Be nice to be so relaxed and base that you can have a gander out and watch someone do some some hard graft, eh? Yeah, I don't think you know the first thing about hard graft. Yeah, uh, this this oil yard on a shoestring budget didn't make itself. What else do we need for this thing anyway? It's uh, RCUs and uh, and low density structure so we need a billion different chips and loads of copper steel and plastic and we have everything we need to make loads of plastic right here God, the sound of those poor walls i can't help but notice the uh, places i went to clear that uh there's no wall issues there actually yeah it's looking really well maybe really if you scroll cool. a little bit further east I, I didn't. I didn't go. I didn't go yeah. east. That's, that's what I'm saying. I cleared out the south west. Right, that was a big moly. I like to imagine there are people that play this, and they just set up um, belted ammo for the gun turrets. They'd be so would, dead. Yeah. The moment I started to shoot it, just even the little guys with the gun, it was like tickling them. I'm like, oh, this is yeah. going to be let's, let's switch back to that flame on now. <laughs> Ooh, 
even down in this place where I thought, ugh, we're not getting attacked, we don't need more flamers. Yeah, we, we need more flamers. And I'm out of them now. You don't happen to have loads of flamer turrets in your pocket, do you? Me? Uh, I haven't been touching flamers. Just okay. the flamer. <laughs> I am the flamer turret. A little concerning, I'm sure we can survive. Uh, my pipe's still doing their thing. Right, where's plastics on that bus? Fishy, you rearranged the um, construction bot constructor. I just squished it down a bit. Good show. Let's get the miners in. Just kind of, like it all goes back to iron, right? So I'm just trying to up the iron. Then we can start drinking it. Blended. Uh, do we have the gears being manufactured yet? This should be... Oh, right, we don't have desi uh, dedicated gear manufacturing. Oh, no, no, I tell a lie. Kind of. You could make a buffer off of the the one right next to Boomer. And then we could grab all the all the bits and bobs we need. Yeah, there we go. I think that's what, yeah, I think that's what uh, Boomer was doing anyway. Signal's always one step ahead. Cogswell's cogs or spacely sprockets. Never had a game that needs so many pipes before though. Oh, hey there, Heldon. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, forklifting prowess would be of much help for this. It's not in the skill sets. Factory is not my sort again. Okay. Yeah, that's what they all say. What is the worst uh, game of 2021 after all? So I'm told. Yeah. The old flamethrower ammo is pretty uh, slow in making. Yeah, that's why I actually set up multiple uh, things to make it. Yeah, I think I will. There we go, plastics are us. The buffers will only kick in to... fill in where production cannot, and the buffer is enormous, so that's good. Oh, there's that noise again. What do I do?
Don't you worry, we've got it under control. We do? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we're still making plenty of walls. We just need RCUs and low density structures. And uh, it's going to need a lot of chips. We have oh. LDS on the way. Hmm? There is LDS production. Oh, where? Uh, how do I ping the map? There you go. Oh, very nice. Need chips, which I assume will come when the uh, yeah when the red and greens are done. We're gonna want four productivity three modules as well, which is gonna need blues, which is going to need sulfuric acid. Guess I'll get on that then. There's no prizes for looking good on Darius here. Because there were three of them. What do you mean asymmetrically? Besides, if, you, if you'd if you seen the start, you know it was all about survival. In fact, until we got automated defences and massive wall production, it was still all about survival. Now we can afford to have nice things like a bus and mining productivity. Hey, right. We're gonna need so many more chips than this. But future problems. Hey, Fishy, if you wanna, you wanna seem real clever here. I got no use for these. The game starts you off with eight electric smelters. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't take too much of the uh, uh, the oil. But I've got four of the things making flame fuel for me now. It'll be, a, be an issue, though. Uh, what, you mean a strain on the oil supply? Yeah. Oh, I'm assuming it's going to be fine, right? Uh, we have... Oh, the fuel... The oil amount is actually going up rather than down, which is good. Oh. So... Aberdeen is actually one of the worst oil things you could imagine because there's only three of them and they're already being pumped dry. But uh, if you look over at the massive uh, storage tank place I put near Aberdeen... <laughs> I didn't see that much, do I say? I put that down just so that we're always buffering oil so that if we ever run into problems we can still keep those flamers going for hours on end. My brilliant idea. That sort of ingenious forethinking is why we're crushing this, right? Hey, hey, hey. hey. The start of this was intense, let's just say that. Oh, oh he's a big guy, he's a big guy. You weren't here before. The sulfuric acid you could ever need for blues coming in. Problem is making said blues.
This is just another go at the spoon achievement. No, this will be much faster than the spoon achievement because we haven't had to bother with science at all. And starting resources here are a lot more generous oh, than oh, vanilla play. Yeah, yeah, that was that was really unfortunate on the way I spawn it. <laughs> I'm just seeing all this smoke and puke around you. I hope you're ready to go out and grab all the goodies off your corpse. Oh, straight back out there. If it proves too tricky, I could bring the car out and give you some literal cover fire. I will be. Don't worry. Hope you'll be finer than our walls. Oh god, Aberdeen's gone. Well, uh, now we are well and truly on our buffer. Miss Aberdeen came to try and save the day. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the best Aberdeen's ever look. <laughs> <laughs> it's still spewing out boiling oil, yeah. though. <laughs> it's They're all eating the uh, the front of it, and there's just this one flame turret uh. in the back. Like, I've, I've got this. Yeah, it's like, no, no, you don't, bud. I, I didn't do anything, Fox. Right? That was... That was all the vitals. All right, maybe we should pick up the pace on the bloody rocket. Are you up too fishy? Uh, iron. We're starting to drink iron, so... Okay. Why would you want? I mean, the things we need pushing forward are low density and rocket control units. Low density is... Oh, right, nice. Oh, nice, a logistics yep. network. Do we even have logistic bots? No, we have zero logistic bots. <laughs> <laughs> And we really shouldn't make any. Better to just belt it over. Which I will. Spent a couple minutes trying to figure out why it wasn't coming over, don't worry. <laughs> That's hilarious. Poor Aberdeen. Where is poor? It's Aberdeen. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised I, it took that long for them to have that. Like, look I at don't it, think look it's... I'm not sure if it's worth rebuilding Aberdeen. We have 350,000 oil. It's it's never worth rebuilding. No. It wasn't, build, so. wasn't worth building in the first place, some would <laughs> say. A, we shouldn't make the rocket until we have productivity three modules because those actually are a net gain in resources. But boys of oh boys, do we need those blues? Main base just runs right into the water. Don't suppose anyone has a million landfill on them. Why does it say day 30, uh, 43 in the top left, but day 38 next to minimap? Ooh. I don't know. I'd have to rewatch the world and see where time discrepancy comes in. Ooh. Oh. One very vital power pole. Might be worth building a redundancy then. Yeah, I will, I will do exactly kinda, that. Yeah, we just just some off from up north and <laughs> just uh, everything started the flickering plane. on my screen there. Yeah, I was like, okay, well, this is one one very important power pole. Load bearings were boom.
painful in its own right. Um, Absolutely destroyed. Holy crap! Yep. And unless our uh, oil starts going down horrifically badly, I don't think it's worth rebuilding. But that's oh all God. dependent on us actually getting this thing made. Hey, this thing being the rocket to win the game. the south. Good thing Dark Young went to save the south. I almost got to my body. I went without fish though, which meant I couldn't really risk pushing through. Uh, but I went and got some fish, so I should be able to clear it out and get my fish and then... Your body only lasts for a... how long was it again? 15 minutes. Real life or...? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how long a factorial minute is. I'm being proven wrong at times here. Apologies for making a horrible mess of the main bus here. How can you tell? Things are outputted onto the far side of the uh, the things, right? Yeah. this. we go, blue chips are agonizingly slowly being made now. Oi, 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 I see, I see you there, see space, <laughs> we need those. Cheeky bugger. We need a lot more green chips, which means a lot more copper. Working on that, although... Mm, we a might hell of a lot more copper, copper actually, because we need copper for chips yeah. and we need them for RCUs. Well, I'll get this down. Can we start... someone take the other copper as well? The... Once oh, the... right, yeah, we got a six you... million copper mine. How do you yeah. ping in this game now? Hmm? How do you ping? Matt? Add, uh, add ping and then click on it. Add ping is okay. just under the map. Okay. Is that the one to the east Control. that we cleared out ages ago, Fashy? Ah, thank you. Sorry, was it? Is that the one that we cleared out ages ago to the yeah, east? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we need that for the... Um, that we chipset. do. Do we have miners made anywhere? And, uh, I've just been doing it by hand because I don't need that many. Like uh, that's like a uh, hundred miners or so. I do that, and th as long as it takes to to automate it, you could have made them. Voomer, I made the fuel. Is there any problems with it? A 
Oh, copper coal fuel. Well, can't help you there. Oh, right. Uh, because I hacked something. <laughs> it's all right, Young's making sure we squeeze everything out of that. Yep. <laughs> Just pinging all these, uh, these uh, poor guys. Uh, something shooting them, or was that me? I don't like it when that's a genuine question. I don't know it's one of you guys. Someone's built something that's shooting artillery. We have an artillery. Stealing our... my job. Coming out of here. Stealing my job. You know how fun this is for me? Jeez. What asshole. <laughs> I didn't think we had it to just have artillery on the fly, but there you go. Uh oh, that's starting to look like night time. Not again. <laughs> PTSD. Yeah. Just striking. Just getting insta surrounded by like five of those great big green ones. It's like, oh, oh no. Not again. Okay, slowly but surely we're getting all this. <laughs> and then quickly and very shortly the walls fall down. And this is only on 42% evolution. Behemoths aren't meant to be around until, what, 90%? It's a shame nobody else plays this mode. Can't find any information about it. Yeah, cheers, Young. We need that. We need that fire. Yeah. Looking at the west. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead to the west now. Switch over. Yeah, at least everything's ultra walled. Eh, less so with Aberdeen, actually. Well, uh, Aberdeen is probably still our one weak spot well, in the well, southern world. Well, Ab Aberdeen, yeah, I just enhanced the wall there a bit. But otherwise, it's got the good general flamer coverage. I'm worried about the lack of bots. We're now down to below 100 bots. And the main reason is a lack of green chips. Or, or mo mostly just because that setup for making bots is crap. Sorry, Fishy, I never got on the um, on the copper. Oh, wow, the Western Wall is not having a good time. It's not exactly Wonder Wall. <laughs> Right, that is that is all of our copper tapped. We need more copper to get more production now. Sure. Um, do we have creation of mines? I know I asked this and it was probably answered, but I forgot. I don't think so. So you're just making mines on the fly. Too wrong with that, but nothing too right with it either. I suppose we don't have that much more mining to do, so it's no big deal. Oh, no. Stop stealing Besides, my it's it's uh, it's more that we're choked on the smelters than anything. Yeah, we've got we just need um, more copper melting, really. Yeah, that's the bottleneck. I've got all the miners for the, the west patch. Oh uh, wow, east patch. red belt. Red, well, a red belt. The decadence. We just had another smelting setup like that. Be fine. What a weird smelter, though. That was sea space. I think. I th it's <laughs> mine are the the blank straight one. It's just. It's, it's like oh, I don't want to use everything. 
to don't understand. Use, um, long, long-handed inserters. I'm gonna go out of my way not to. I suppose that's true. This this setup doesn't use long-handed, but what's wrong with long-handed? It's just an inserter I... that costs plus three more iron. And you spend so much on the underground belt. Well, whatever. Sea space is better at this game than me. Surely he knows what he's doing. Surely. Surely. But don't call him surely. Make Scottish bridges look positive, please. Oi, now, one thing we are good at in Scotland is building bridges. And one of the ones north of Edinburgh, like... Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, hey. Maybe not maintaining them. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they look good before they fall down, right? <laughs> but yeah, there's a reason there are two bridges north of Edinburgh. Yeah. <laughs> we could have made it really good, we just can't be bored that day. <laughs> <laughs> Really oh, nice having full radar coverage on the base uh, without having to place any bloody radars. I hate placing radars. I, I do apologize profusely for the terrible language. <laughs> or as he likes to call it, language. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I've even tried taking a stop in my own one. Oh wow! You know, I've, I've been trying to tell people to do like swear jars for years, and they just keep throwing it in my face. Yeah. Ah, pish posh. I'll just, I'll just not swear when I don't have to, and I'll swear as much as I like whenever I want to. Okay, but just it think of the amount of money that could go to the jar. Point. Yeah, all of my money to other people. Mm, yeah, oh, it's sounding better by the moment. I think I've got money to put in a swear jar. <laughs> he hasn't <laughs> even got a jar. Yeah. All these different smelter arrangements everywhere. This is... Oh, is my entire original manufacturing block gone then? No, no, there's tiny remnants oh, I, of it. I, I hacked off most of it and left the bit that was making flame Yeah, cards. yeah, you've made a sensible smelter array. I like that. It's a suicide run there. We need that cloning technology. I mean, you come back with uh, all the construction robots and the gear style really? you die. I've oh. everything. Just kill yourself ten times, get a hundred construction bots. Easy. Do you get an inventory with anything, or is it just your modular armor and your gun? Your modular armor, your submachine gun and shotgun, uh, and you get the, uh, the construction robot. So the construction the... robot's the only thing in your inventory? Yeah. Okay, that, I mean, that's, that's not I, bad. That, that would be faster. That's yeah. faster than our automated creation of bots. Sure is. That's a. Uh, that's what we come in with anyway. I think you get extra stuff because it's your. Uh, it's not me. Your... It's um, when you start the game, there are two chests full of starter equipment. Oh, yeah. And I tell you, that stuff's real handy. This chip production is just not keeping. Oh, oh, good job, Vimmer. Someone read my, my mind. Some monster steal my flame fuel? That whole corner needs reinforced. I'm gonna bring some more flamer turrets to it. <laughs> they rip through four thick wall. Like it wasn't even there. Not them there. <laughs> yeah. I remember being called out by Eurysto for swearing during Bad Boys of Brexit. Eurysto swears all the time during his streams. Yeah. Maybe that's how he's getting those big Dwarf Fortress numbers. That are uh, loot lot, those, uh, those dwarfs. Oh, yeah.
Setting foot in Behemoth spit again. Right. Well, the good thing about no trains is no one's had that embarrassing situation where they get run over by it. Yeah, well, no one's we seen by has that happened. multiple times. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> who would, would clip it on Twitch? Yeah, I, don't, I remember the uh, I remember the last MP where all those people. Oh, I'm not gonna die by it, and then immediately getting squished. <laughs> Hey, here, here's some apology fish. Please don't sue. Oh, my, my suicide run worked. You got your, oh, you got your board back. Yeah. I had managed to clear out the. Oh, I think actually, no, it probably didn't. I think it was maybe a, a certain a artillery man who. Cleared out the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, Eldon's gonna audit this incident. <laughs> right, I'm sick of seeing that sorry looking um, load of rocket fuel. I'm gonna belt it down. Will I? Yeah. I think I'll car it down. Oh, is anybody next to the oil to check the buffer? Uh, uh, one hundred three thousand. One hundred and three thousand. No, three thousand per tank. Oh, oh well, what was the total? You can just I click know, on any tank. oil bit, and it'll tell you the the whole amount in the system. Really? Yeah. Any oil pipe or oil storage pipe will tell you. Oh, that's new. Okay, but how much? Seventy-three thousand. That's really bad. Then we means we burnt yeah. through half of our buffer already. Yeah. Hey, Dark Young, so, you think uh, you want to rebuild Aberdeen? Eh, uh, we could probably secure the other one. You that one, that one's right on the attack path, though. Aberdeen, you just need to bring out the wall a little bit more. So, honestly, that's also on the attack path, but I'll. Uh, uh, I can leave this side and go and deal with that. No oil, no life. Oil is what is uh, giving me my my flame gun here, so... <laughs> Maybe that's what is causing this lack of it. <laughs> Listen, right, you can't prove that, that I've got four chemical plants sucking as much of it as possible. <laughs> A dark out here, maybe I should idea. head back in. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you, Casket, right? Who, who, want, who wants to go to Aberdeen, right? Who, who volunteers? I have been in Aberdeen and I don't go back. Yeah. The reason that people don't go back. Oh, but they make all these videos online about how great Aberdeen yeah. is. <laughs> It's a, it's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> now, uh, you know, know how you said that you're like, you know, inflicting uh, uh, suffering on others? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a Scottish thing, and it's uh, especially rife in Aberdeen. The Laird of Aberdeen, oh god. Uh, there's no power over in this uh, copper one. That's... Oh, yeah, just being built. Alright. So, I can get power in a minute. We're looking pretty good on the low density structures. Oh, yeah, yeah, it may actually be me that's taking all that oil, by the way. 
<laughs> we just see it leaking out into the ground. I mean, 200 per flame, and I just picked up like a hundred, so that's like 20,000 there by itself. Oy. Okay, please don't put RCUs into the um, rocket silo until we have productivity modules in it. Uh, do we have any flame towels? Flamethrowers? I have five. There, they're all next to the rocket silo. But now I'm out of them. If you want to make more, they're pretty complex buggers. Yeah, that's why I'm hoping one of you guys, so I can just pick them up and go. Um. <laughs> I'm 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 the builder, right? I'm not the maker. Uh, how close to the? They're right now. They are to the left of the uh, silo. But a bit further to the left. That's them. They're they're screaming that they don't have fuel for one. Oh right right. Oh wait no. Back. Place them. I've made so many of those this campaign. Are all the bots busy or something? They're not building my stuff. Oh crap, I should probably get some uh, walls while I'm here. We have plenty of walls, right? Like, Actually we do. One thing we have lots of is walls. I remember a day when we had lots of steel, but that all seems to be gone. Uh, I haven't been going by in a... Oh jeez, our steel, steel production is sad. And I'm not sure if it's... Not sure if it's being buffered. Oops. Uh, I'm pretty sure the steel was one that we hadn't properly automated anyway. Yeah, no. It is automated now. Might be enough to get us through, we'll see. We probably have a, a chest full of steel somewhere as well. Uh, Probably. We have red, uh, red track. That's... Fancy. Or belt, sorry, not track. Oh god, poor. Poor Aberdeen. I mean, it, it, the uh, the lack of oil is very much a ticking lifeline for us. Oil runs out, we straight up die. And it's coming down to 100,000. <laughs> Copper wire invented by two Scots fighting over a penny. That, uh, <laughs> that joke has been said for so many different stingy peoples. I think I heard it about a certain kind of German as well, although I don't know exactly which one. I don't actually have oil refineries or the electric poles for us, I need to come back and get them. To see freaking missiles flying past my head here. things to actually suck the oil out? Do we have any spare? Or do pump jacks. Some? I got a bunch of spare pump jacks. Hold on. Uh, I'll call to you then. Uh, you don't happen to also have some copper wire, do you? Mm, no, I ran out of pennies. Actually, I got a little bit. Here you go. That's I them. That's them. Uh, you need anything else? Pipes or pumps or uh, anything? I've, I've, I've got everything else. But that's a bit better. Thank you. Just keep uh, those things flowing. Bit. So the copper is half, thing is half done, but it's almost finished it or not. It's not going to get done if you don't, so I'll be back in a bit. I didn't catch any of that, did you? He'll be back in a minute. Okay. The copper's half done if anyone wants to finish it. Uh... You have to be good at understanding 
people when you're as linguistically the, challenged the, the, as I am. <laughs> the fishy yeah. mumbles were a bit beyond me there. Uh, I'm actually thinking of stopping our oil processing, given how tight oil is. The buffers are surely going to hold. And we have pretty big buffers of oil and stuff. Oh, crap. Yeah, we can't afford this anymore. Blonk. Jesus. Uh, yes, we need RCUs. In fact, it looks like RCUs are about the only thing we do still need. We have all of the fuel that I think we need. No, 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 don't insert them. Don't insert anything more into the rock. Or don't insert RCUs into the rocket silo, basically. I'm making level 3 production modules, which is going to reduce the amount of stuff we need in the uh, silo massively. Bullets. What are they doing aside from dying? They uh, they kept on using my my electric poles to replace one that had been destroyed, that the the things were actively killing, and it it went through like twenty of them. It just kept on like replacing it, and I'm like, what? What's it going? So I'm trying to place one to get across the gap. Hmm. place might really good oh Christ I'm taking those back uh, could the reason that this place died so quickly as well be because uh, we've got nothing to replace anything when it dies you mean Aberdeen yeah no it's just because it was guarded by one single flame turret and it could do with more than that Is it in the, uh, the robot network? No. But it really was just a case of because there was only one defense, it just got torn through like it wasn't even there. Alright. No kidding, we get RCUs and we are done. Actually, it looks like a proper factory, says Vanillus. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> this is not a story I'll be telling the grandkids. there for getting modules on you. time you torched hordes upon hordes of biters they rushed relentlessly at your walls uh, that does make it sound better but Dark Young was the one out there doing the, the proper torching and now he has to build a better Aberdeen it's a, it's a sad day for me I'm not going to lie <laughs> the wall actually needs to come out a lot further because the, they can spit on everything in there from outside. The wall should probably come up to about here or so. Do that. Just 
<laughs> Nicking all the bots off of Boomer there. <laughs> oh my. Aberdeen's not quite a town. It's a city if you say it in a slurred Scottish accent. <laughs> Get that one. <laughs> Someone had to. Yeah. Uh, that joke appealed to exactly three people in that chat. <laughs> And we are two of them. Oh, we're blue chips buffer. <laughs> Been siphoned off for RCUs. It's okay, I'll soon be able to inject it with blues. Oh. A joke there, but. They've been naughty. A little bit. Ah, my mum wouldn't approve. We are... We are now safe from Aberdeen. I know... Uh, yeah, it can't hurt that you. That wasn't... Yeah, that wasn't quite the... Uh, the goal. Uh, but we're... We're safe from it now. It should we be fine now. We've got the uh, thing going. The artillery took out a lot of the uh, the junk around here that was actually attacking it. Imagine there's someone that's like super proud of Aberdeen, right? And they're like, ah, I wonder if they made all those YouTube anyone, videos about you know, it. Yeah. They they come on Twitch because they want to, uh, you know, they also want to enjoy their their favourite game, Factorial. Uh, and they, they come across the channel and it's just you lean into Aberdeen <laughs> relentlessly Un unfair unfairly some might say not me not me but there we go there's nothing getting out of Aberdeen now. oh Jesus <laughs> <laughs> we tell them this wall is made to keep others out of Aberdeen but really <laughs> <laughs> the biters aren't there anymore. There's no reason for that wall. God, it even than... looks like Aberdeen with that colour scheme. Yeah, right? Just, just grey. <laughs> like, even the ground is getting greyed around it. <laughs> That's a good show, actually. Nothing but concrete. Aberdeen's a grim, bloody place. For grim, bloody people. What, 20 rounds in a hand fed shell set up? For a more? Oh, 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 right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sea Fusion. The hay, but we're almost done. Uh, if you, if you ignore the, the RCU cannon? production, we're just about done. Where is the uh, thing he's been firing from? The uh, artillery? Uh, it's up near the arm. Oh, yeah, it's up near yeah, the arm. Yeah, there it is. He's using my production module things for sulfur. <laughs> Give me those back. There's only two things worth using those on. Blue chips and the silo itself. Speed modules for the smelting as well. Oh, this... I'm, go I'm gonna have a brain hemorrhage when it comes to the... Uh... When it comes to the big multiplayer. Productivity modules on sulfur. Sulfur is made of water. You don't even need any iron or anything for it. He's uh, he's just trying to help. He done a, he, he admittedly done a great job helping me clear a lot of the the battles out. You know, he didn't. He didn't get in there with uh, with me and and the fuck of it, but he certainly certainly helped. Wow, that's a lot of mining productivity. Usually takes you a fair whack of time to get that in the base game. Oh, got a big attack coming from the south. I'm looking forward to the multiplayer experience of everyone trying to scavenge blue chips for their Mark II power armor from every bit. It's going to be Spider Trons, I think. Yeah, Everybody wants their own Spider Tron. 
I would probably be happy with a with a flamer and a, uh, an outpost and a certain and item. every nuke. <laughs> I wonder how long until some joker starts using nukes willy nilly. I prefer the uh, the personal touch myself. Can't can't die from a from hiding behind your walls with nukes, well, unless you're really bad at aiming them. Wouldn't put it past these people. Almost there. All right, boom, boom. We are free to start loading up the silo. Let's get the hell off of Biter Rock here. Can you a uh, friendly fire with the nukes by any chance? Just yes. You just everything wondering. fire with the nukes. You even destroy cliffs with the nukes. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, good, good, good to know. All right. Uh, are we a little bit low in steel again? We shouldn't have a problem with that anymore, because I think we have all the RCUs that we need. That's why we don't technically actually use them anymore, so it's fine. Yeah, as long as we have more than 710 of everything, I think we're good. So we can actually cut off production of, uh, of RCUs now. And that's going to let our steel and things back up. Uh, did I say RCUs? Because I meant low-density structures. We're good on low-density structures. We are badly in need of RCUs. I don't think beacons are worth it since you don't have enough materials for a constant loading anyway. Yeah, you're right, I thought we had more of them, but we do not. However, the beacons could be used to up the RCUs, and the RCUs can be given productivity mods. Ah. Observe. That should even offset the productivity mods of this. They make more when you can make more from less. Now the problem is the uh, lack of speed modules. Painful. Yeah, we need a hell of a lot more reds. Of the way. It's 10 past midnight, says I guess, but we're so close to the end. How can you leave at this pivotal moment? 
We've been close to the end for for quite a while now, Jake. We just need the only thing we need right now are reds. More reds means more speed modules, means more rocket control units, and that's all we need for the rocket. And the rocket's 22% of the way there. 22% did you say? 22%. I thought I was generous when I rounded up. Mm. has got to be quite honestly one of the ugliest setups I think I've ever seen <laughs> yeah. played with game. It's the stumpiest looking main bus I've ever seen. It's, and it's... it's got four lanes for iron. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> it doesn't even get used. It gets drawn <laughs> off a little bit for gears. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? It works. Yeah, well, we're not done yet. You said we were nearly done? It will. You get done faster if we get more red chips. I'm in dire need of uh, inserters over here if you have any. Regular inserters. Wait, we don't even make inserters as a. Oh, well, it's fine, I got them. There we go, those red chips be flowing. Thing that would make this better is more red chips. It's a short, but it's a mini bus, is what it is. I think old ladies go around on their day out to Mecca Bingo. I am back. Hey, welcome back, Fishy. Alright, I reckon as long as the walls can hold for just a little longer, we got this. Yeah, one thing that's nice to see is it's positively backing up on blues. place a little bit more efficient. I can't, I can't find it. Someone... Maybe you're just better someone... you think. Oh, it went away. Oh, yeah. Went away to Valhalla. Oh. To be replaced by anything better. I feel... I feel hard. Hey, everything my... had its time. And it was it was a, 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 a worthy addition while it existed, and then it went away. At least I can take pride in knowing Why are we having bricks coming down along the copper lines? Uh oh. Stone bricks are coming down the copper lines. Oh, that probably means there's a mixed thing somewhere. Mixed smelter? Is that from the north? Oh, someone's probably extend. Yeah, someone's extended the miners at the top where so they overlapped with two. It was segregated before. So you need to split it off. Damn. Or. Or filter it. 
So one we'll this one. Yeah, that wasn't me. I didn't touch any of this crap. <laughs> I've, I've, I've just been, I've just been making high explosives. Just say it wasn't you. Hey, it could have been me. I could have put one extra down. Possible. Okay, I'll go put some filter inserters at the end of the copper lines. Personally, I think we should blame uh, C space. I can I'm get well up for that. Right, where the hell's the copper line gonna go? We actually could do with more copper, all things considered. Oh, we've got plenty of copper. Good, because there's only one red line coming down to the main bus, and uh, we have one and a half red lines coming in right now. These circuits are expensive. What the? What's the, Where are you the going, one? Young? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking out my my, my explosives. Um, you know, cleaning cleaning the map. Why? Some something up. I mean, uh, you must have been wondering what slowdown capsule did. Uh, I, I'll I'll be honest. Uh, I had a good idea, <laughs> but it's always good to check, right? Like, you can never truly know. Yeah, uh, can't be sure. It said it worked this... on enemies. I wasn't sure if it meant enemy vitals or ancestral enemies. <laughs> right, I'm cutting off uh, greens for the blue circuits because we seem to have tons of those. With oh, the fishy mumbles. Sorry. <laughs> thinking out loud. Well. Very quietly really thinking out, out loud. Yeah, it feels like the biters have really taken a bit of a nap now, although here comes night time. Yeah, I did, uh, I did clear out a bunch of them with the excess ammo that Sea Space had left over. I believe it. I'm pretty sure he was actually building mostly, that's why he wasn't just constantly pelting them. And a lot of it looks like uh, he had to manually place it as well, which I think that's where a lot of the green uh, chips had went. He just kind of funneled them up here to make the uh, uh, the radars to make the shells. Oh yeah! I hope that's not still drinking all of those. Oh no, it's manually. You have to manually okay, take them. Okay, great. Uh, I did build another like, ferry, but that, I didn't take the, uh, <laughs> the green ones off the line. I, I grabbed a bunch of iron plates and copper plates and just yeah, got to Artillery's do it manually. surprisingly expensive, which is sad, but yeah. it just tells you you need to have a good functional base before you go for it. It's it's the radar, right? Like, that's yeah. ridiculous. Every, sing every single one needing a radar is uh, a bit horrendous. Because explosives are practically free. Yeah, these are churning them out like nothing. It's just sulfur and water, right? Okay, wow. We're actually backing up on red chips. What a, what a time to be alive. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the west side is the only one that's actually still needing paint. I'll go out and scout it so I can launch some yeah, more shells. Okay. They are they're getting pretty serious about it, though. Look at the size of those attacks. Uh, oh, God, they are oh. really close to breaking through. 
I want another layer of wall on that. Uh, maybe two layers. But we're only we only have eighty two construction bots. Yeah, they can figure it out. bollock ton of green circuit production. Drink it. Nice. I mean, okay. Pretty sure I built it, but okay. And I didn't notice from that last attack, though, while it was really bad over this side, uh, none of the other walls barely, like, felt anything. Yeah. I suppose that's good. Good news for us. These big guys are angry. Yeah, let them be angry. They won't take this place. Uh, well, Although, me probably, probably only need a few more knights to take this place at this rate, though. They have to be angry at me, because I've got no home to go back to now. <laughs> <laughs> These wasteful medium electric poles, the modest wooden electric poles where it's at. A what's going on with Red's production? It's copper's been cut off from Red's for some reason. Oh, that might be me dealing with things. Oh no, it's... Was that me? I don't know if I'm doing that. Get him. Ooh, okay, well as long as that's flowing, we're okay. If you have any spare copper wire or something to turbocharge their production, that's groovy. Forty-eight percent on the rocket, and all it needs is RCUs. I think. I hope. Yes. Huh. So it's reminding me a lot of le a lot like the there is no spoon run. What's this? These wavy belts everywhere for weird things in the way. Like, what's this single steam engine doing? I'm sure, there's a reason. Just not sure what the reason is. Steel, copper, greens, and reds. We're no longer choked on greens, it's red, so I'm moving speed modules over to red. I uh, borrowed some greens. The <laughs> good news is we now have twice the artillery production. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see in the next night whether, uh, whether it was a good idea or not. Seems to be working fine.
Uh, how do you see how much uh, oil we have banked up? Click on any oil tube or storage tank and it'll tell you the amount in the entire system. You can't do it from the mini-map though, you have to be yeah, you physically be... close to it. Is this where we discover that Aberdeen wasn't actually rebuilt? <laughs> I, I'll rebuild it, it's, it's a bit, well... It's yeah, we're good, we've got 200,000 in the system now, so we've banked an additional 100k since last time. What should we call it, Aberdeen, or should we call it NORAD? Like, Jesus. How many walls do you need? It's, uh... <laughs> Is <laughs> anybody sitting on some spare flamethrowers? Because the western wall needs it. Uh, oh, you mean actual flint? No. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the kind that we install. You could make There's some, no it's just care. engines, pipes, cogs, and steel. Uh, I do have all of those except from engines. Uh, engines are steel uh, pipes and cogs, I think, but they have to be made in a machine. Alright. I'll go grab some of my spare pipes, yeah. Not to flex too hard, but I had to make those at the very start. And I sure didn't have this beautiful bus to pull resources from. Beautiful bus? Where's that? Uh, is it near our one? <laughs> <laughs> what God's name is this splitter? Alright. Oh, nothing to worry about. We're even backing up on RCUs. Well, the ingredients for them. We just need more... Yeah, we need more, alright. What was over here for again? It was engines, right? Where are the engines? It was Not over here the engines were. Uh, I used to have a big place for engines, but we tore it down. Why? Because we don't really need them apart from replacement bots, which aren't even being made right now because of a lack of... Batteries. Oh yeah, yeah, I tore down the battery stuff ages ago. What do oh, I... Just, what the engine steam doing? engine is a, an alarm system, that's what it's doing. If we run out of power, it'll scream at us. At least okay. flamethrowers don't need power. Engines require steel, gears, and pipes. But it's really cheap. Cheap to make, that is. Right, 66%. Going strong. Every every seven of these coming along is another percentage done. Is it time for more last minute RCUs? Always. Thinking more about getting the ones that we already have running more efficiently.
<laughs> what's the, what's the speaker for? Oh, I get it now. Right. It's an so alarm it's, thing. Yeah. Right, right. So if we ever run out of power, it'll scream at us. Okay. We barely scratched that million coal we start with, though, which is nice. I like how powerful steam is. There's really no need to upgrade your your power until you get late game. I used to be big on massive solar farms, and now I see that I was a fool. Am I doing? Speed, lots of speed. Oh, it's a red circuits. Seventy-eight percent. You could just pick them up and hand feed them in. They don't need lots of them. Scoop them straight off the belt. <laughs> with the with the lack of construction bots and the increasing size of the biters, I feel like we're just abandoning this thing to die. Like Rimworld. Just get off before you die. Yeah. I dread to think how this would have been if they started you off with a vanilla amount of iron and copper, though. You would have had to expand to uh, to get the resources you need, and... Oof. Hey, how was it out there, young? Uh, with the flamer, it wasn't bad, honestly. Even as long as you've got, like, some fish, you can just YOLO into the middle of them, spray all around and then run away, mm -hmm. and just shoot behind you, and you're, you're fine. Uh, unless the big green one, but the big green ones only spawned in the attack waves, uh, by the looks of it. So really? Like, Maybe that's where the evolution comes in, then. Yeah. Ah, there, wasn't, uh, there wasn't that many of them uh, in the west, but there was a few in the west. But in the south and north, there was none that was like, at the base. The rest of them all get pulled away. Like I said, nobody seems to play this, so I can't find much information on how it works. <laughs> but they're missing out. I it's... thought this was pretty yeah. cool. Like, not having to uh, go through the really early level stuff of the game. Having bots at the get-go. Yeah, dining yeah. with bots, just a few even, is such a such a nice thing. I've enjoyed this more than I've enjoyed any of the uh, vanilla uh, Factorio by far. Uh -huh. Well, at least the goal Understand. for the weekend will be about wiping out the biters, not just building a big base until game is too slow to keep playing. You better gather by the uh, rocket. Yeah. Take, take off without you. Ooh, where's the car? Uh, good question. Oh, yeah, it's down uh, by the down by the iron. Need to need to lift off. On stupid slow RCUs. Go faster. Oh, oh. Uh, Are those good O's? No, they're oh, we're out of blue chip O's. Oh, it's fine. We've got two percent. There's enough on the bill. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's where the blue chips went. Okay, never mind then. How the hell can there be no greens? There are greens? There's no need for anything now. We can just get off of this nightmarish place. Only 639 entities are missing construction bots. It'll be fine. Peace. Wait, what even would those be? I dread to think. Right, take the... Where's the car? Um, All right, you know, come on, get me out of here. Enter if you want to get in the <laughs> rocket. 
No, you bastard. It's not land as that. See you, suckers. <laughs> Hey, go and stand on the red bit. That means you win. Yeah. Ah. I hope it was in the air. Ammo left. Oh, same. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can, I can uh, give you the same kind of experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you don't, fishy. Get, get down. Ah, farewell base. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> gotta, gotta predict where you're going in order to, to fire you. There we go. Run, run out of fish. <laughs> There we go. Never needed the base. We did surprisingly little damage to it. And the bots are already yeah. trying to all, put all, it all back the, together. All, all the boards will fix it by the time we respawn. Yeah. yeah. Weird though, I could have sworn I had a lot more uh, rocket uh, or artillery shells ready to go. How curious. Oh, ran out of freaking radars, of course. <laughs> how, how, how are they shoving an entire radar into a cannon room? <laughs> like, like I, I get the idea that they're probably like, taking the chip out. Oh. But you build that chip, why not just have it be green chips? Good idea, we should let the, um, let the, uh, let the biters in. They could do this better than us. Oh, how do we do that without going around the outside? Destroy, uh, all dismantle oh. all turrets. There we go. I'm setting all the um, setting all the the uh, flamer turrets to be dismantled. See if the bots can keep up with. The, yeah, yeah. The shame, shame. I torched some of the bot uh, the bot places. Just burn Aberdeen, yeah. <laughs> no, you leave Aberdeen alone. I've I've become attached. It's, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making YouTube videos about how great it is now. You know, it's really not that bad when you when you think about it, right? Like the uh, the the depressive stony architecture really really brings it to life. Brings a tear to the eye. Like the question mark you have in the middle of that sentence. Shame the biters have already been and gone, but they'll be here soon enough. Uh, was that a wave that one? Yeah, was where it was maybe, not oh, maybe they maybe they stop attacking right? after you win. Oh, oh boo! I hit this. Oh, 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 um, oh well. Oh well, um. I thought that would okay, restart well, the biters, but instead... <laughs> <Get stone. laughs> I could have sworn we finished this game, but... <laughs> hey, I'm not the silo. I'm, I'm helping. Okay, good. <laughs> I feel really helped. I could have sworn I had fish. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've got really bad aim. It's the uh, it's the chicken. <laughs> there we go. Um, I can't believe, can't believe we're lost. Ah, yeah, Trivens. Well, better luck next time. Okay, thanks for uh, thanks for joining in. I would have definitely died if you had not sprung to my aid and uh, and built that beautiful base that we can all be proud of. And I hope when, it is. When, uh, when did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it serves as a foundation for whatever gets built this weekend. But uh, 
it is getting way past my Betty bye byes, so it's uh, very much a cheers and cheerio.